things about being your friend. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to another West March Guys live stream. I'm your host, AJ, the DM, and this is my lovely cast and crew. Yay! Um, it's much excitement pouring out of our mouths. Um, <laughs> but um, we're all looking good and ready to go. Um, we are starting early, uh, surprise, surprise, but I'm sure um, nobody is watching right now anyway. Um, we are still sponsored by McCarthy Farms and whatever flies across the screen at any given moment. Uh, <laughs> I like that cool. any given moment on like the entire stream. Like that's like that's a sponsorship. Um, anyways, let's dive into where we left off. Um, you guys had gathered yourselves um, and finally formed the uh, what is now called the, the Grand Resistance. Um, you guys started uh to sail your way um allegedly to port royal sending out many uh messages and birds along the way to try and to convince everybody that you know to let to let everybody they know that the grand resistance is headed to port royal um <clears throat> we had experienced our first little uh encounter on the high seas as lawrence and the southern vanguard uh, we got, went under attack. You guys uh, made pretty decent work of them. Uh, however, one ship sustaining heavy damage, the other one light damage. Um, you guys were able to sink two ships and then let another one escape to go tell the Nine Seas, hey, you know, that is isn't the only one who rolls deep. Um, we ended with you guys uh, signaling to the rest of the fleet that all is well. Um, the sailing we i don't know if we did a couple more days but we i think we no we didn't because you guys went right back to the terror of the deep to um check in on your now uh sp split or doubled whatever you want to call it um captain heavy and neck um nocton has put together a um fairly you know robust cage to keep both of them strapped down and separated um, as you guys try to figure out what the fuck to do with this. Um, I will say for if anybody doesn't remember the the all this split was caused by a card that Sheila had randomly picked up off of a dead corpse. Um, however, um, we will begin uh, with before your guys' long rest, uh, in case you want to do anything before you guys um, lay down and then awake for uh, three days worth of more sailing travel before you hit Elix. So um, we zoom in. Um, I think, Sheila, we left you at the threshold of the door, um, basically playing bodyguard. Um, as Nocton is running around um, collecting samples of blood from both of them to run tests and to examine like pieces of hair, sections of skin, uh, just all of that. Um, Finn, where are you? Um, I think Finn just landed back on the Terror of the Deep, right? Yeah. <clears throat> all right. I mean, first thing he's going to do is go down to check on the heavy and neck situation. Okay. Uh, Magmore, uh, where are you? Um, I'm gonna be on the top of the boat. All I'm right, gonna... so you will be there when Finn lands. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hold on, I'm gonna try and divine intervention and ask my god something. Is that how you pray for him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> A 10 does it, right? How do you uh, fucking do this? <laughs> Less than 14. <laughs> oh, and it's so hysterical because you have like one of the few like deities that are like <clears throat> not so available right now. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> ask your question. Fuck yeah. Okay. As you um, sit down and you like, uh, you construct your little ritual site where you pull up your little, like, I think it was an obsidian mirror. Can like F Finn be witnessing this? Yeah. He's going to okay. be coming down while you like, you are starting to set up and cast your ritual okay perfect i mean if if you wanted finn to be there with you while you did this then he would have like done that first yeah I just, just so like i have proof that this shit is real <laughs> <laughs> okay like like finn finn is genuinely interested in 
people speaking with deities. Sick. Then yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So I'm I'm gonna just like like get like get down and kind of like in like a crisscross applesauce thing, and like just like raise my hands up. Um. And just be like, Are you trapped here? Are you where? the fire meets the ground what happened to you um let's see is there a word limit to this uh it's i think it's pretty broad yeah your dm chooses the nature of the intervention that's that's pr pretty much it it can usually be pretty like yeah he did <laughs> matt mercer did gusts of wind for uh well, there's commune, which I think is what you're thinking Jesus. of. That's like a spell, like divine interventions. Like, I call upon the god to smite thou, and then they. Yeah, that that's the big one. <laughs> so like, just I'll let you like as you will, but describe the assistance you seek and roll percentile dice. <laughs> Seven days. Okay, so this resets after a week. Yep, if it's successful, yeah. All right, so like, is something supposed to happen? Because I need to get downstairs soon. Okay. So we're so. gonna keep because we're we're gonna keep with the the normal uh role here. However, as you light your fire, it is lit by a like. A, some sort of like stone that just <clears throat> almost, like burns in the center of it and as you ask your question um you're go well, I, magmore i assume your eyes are closed but finn you're gonna watch as this flame starts to flicker and then it starts to swirl and almost like it's being eaten from something unseen it's starting to disappear and be absorbed into like just absolute nothingness uh, magmore this is where in your vision as you like open your eyes and look down finn you can see his eyes are just like glowing this like opaque yellow light um you look down and you see your deity's face in this broken sort of like flickering flame that is like barely even a mouth <clears throat> and like one eye can Finn see the face? Uh, no, he cannot. Okay. Um, can so we cast the true sight on Finn. <laughs> Finn is Finn is supremely like bored. <laughs> um, if he did do, do true sight, it would be much different. Um, but Magmore, uh, you see this face appear in front of you. <clears throat> Child, I am trapped within the flame. Don't forget, if you destroy those pretenders, I will be free again. <clears throat> does Finn hear that? Or no. just, is that me? This is all in you. Okay. Because <clears throat> no one's ever seen you do this before, but... Okay. So as uh finn you watch as uh his eyes like with one blink eventually like the ritual is finally over and his question is answered and it, his pupils come back you watch as the flame gets like re like re put together and like spit out from wherever it was coming from into the ever <clears throat> flame like at the same time and did you catch any of that was the, the little flame that like kind of went away and came back? No, I, mean, my, I, I can probably do that. Like my uh, no, my uh, <laughs> my God, he's he was speaking to me. Uh, that's good. Did he say anything interesting or good or helpful? He's, he's gonna help us fight Thaddeus. No. Oh great! Like, Thank you. He said he was trapped in the flame. Oh good, that's helpful. And that if we take out the pretenders, we'll be set free. And who's the pretender, Thaddeus? I don't know. But like oh. after after we deal with Thaddeus, I feel like we should try and go <clears throat> to where I can see the flame touching the ground from the freaking sky. All right. So he gave you a whole bunch of like 
nothing helpful. I mean, it's a god. What do you expect? That's I god. So I expect he, he literally nothing. Yes. <laughs> he did what? He did say yes. Like when he when you asked your question, like, are you trapped? Yeah. Like where it was, he said yes first, and then I'm trapped in the flame. Okay. So just wanted to make sure that was there was the clarification there. Gotcha. Right. Jay is trapped on this plane somewhere. All right, that's perfect. Another all powerful being that needs our help. Perfect. Um. Anyway, I have to get downstairs because there's you know something immediately pressing happening. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> there's something more interesting. <laughs> all right. So the both of you gather uh, back where you quickly gather your things. Um, yeah, I'm, come, I'm gonna can... come down with him to yeah. see heavy and neck. Julia, where were you in all of this? Julia would have probably rode uh seventeen. Oh no. Phantasma. Phantasma, sorry. My brain uh, needs to get back in D D mode. Um back to the ship. So depending on when she lands or how she got back, she'd just kind of like plop down on the deck and then all right, well, then you would have been there to kind of just, like, hang out and watch the uh, Magmore ritual. Um, okay. <clears throat> then if everyone else, like, goes downstairs, she'll probably just follow along behind, out of pure yeah. curiosity. Uh, you guys can pile in, uh, get down to the main cabin, and then uh, head towards the stairs that then takes you down below deck, um, where Sheila has leaned up, arms crossed. Go ahead. Can, uh, real quick, like, before we go downstairs, can I message to julia and just say um if some shit goes down and heavy and or neck uh takes any or all of us out uh just, i don't know hot fucking hide get out of here let let the other let the rest of the fleet know what happened so they can continue with the plan okay i am yeah very agile and able to fly got it like don't like don't don't try to like if if we all go down, don't fucking try to do anything. Like just get the fuck out. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's just like <laughs> he's smart. <laughs> oh, anyway. <clears throat> As yeah. you hit the wood floor, uh, you see Sheila with her leg one leg propped up on the window, uh, like pane. Or sorry, not window, the door frame, and uh, arms crossed, kind of like Maybe you're nodding off, just keeping her head uh, like down against her chin. And you see Nocton is like furiously like moving around in the lab, like as he normally does. Sheila. Uh, like what's going on? Hey, uh, any <laughs> update? Uh, I mean, he's just doing his thing per usual. So they're not like awake yet are they awake i have a question just to interrupt sheila do you have the card again i believe you we gave it to you okay so yes. you now are you would now be considered under the effects of the <clears throat> card keep that in mind because i know you were like you had her doing a thing when she was when she had it well uh, like then i don't know why don't you check if they're awake oh okay perfect thank you um, so by the way, lately. have you seen my dark eyeliner? <laughs> my, my dark eyeliner. Are you accusing me of something? My dark eyeliner. You Your dark eyeliner. I've, wear ne I've never oh. seen you wear dark eyeliner before. I'm sorry, I think that's uh, the room I was using it. My bad. You were you what were you using dark yeah, eyeliner for? Don't ask questions. I really you know what? I you're right. I really shouldn't. Anyway. I okay. Right. I yes, I will go check for myself what's going on in the other room. Okay, because I, you need, I need to draw like the biggest cat eyes right now. I am just <laughs> not in the mood right now. I need my dark eyeliner. All right. <laughs> Knocked on. What do you got for me? <laughs> By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. They're literally the exact same person, except for the discoloration of the skin and hair and eyes. Um, I don't see anything wrong with either, either of them. Are they both awake? Uh, as you can see, yes, they are. Um, I have soundproofed, uh, is it necks, necks, 
uh, container because he would not be quiet. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, uh, so heavy. Um, hello. Yeah. Hi. What's up? Cool. So, so what? So what happened? I don't remember. I, I don't know. I, I li literally woke up like this. Okay, like, just to like be some. I, I, he, look, I, your friend Nocton has asked me every question under the sun. I don't remember who I, I don't remember anybody. I don't know where I am. I don't know what year it is. And my I'm friend, not really sure how I got here. Do you know who I am? No, Nocton, what's his name? Do you like booze? Nocton looks right at you, Finn, is like, gives you like the, I'm letting you answer this look. All right, well, let me give you some background information. Your name is Heavy Neck, although with, now that there's two of you, we've decided that your name is Heavy and his name is Neck. I have a question. Did you does know it, that? Did you know that at least? Does it have to be Heavy Neck? It's kind of a stupid name. Really? What what what, what neck what name, name would you choose? Uh I think he looks like a Francis. I mean it does kind of look like a Francis, I, you're right. I was gonna go with Jeremy. 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 Interesting. Now we should ask the other one the same question just to see what he says. All right, so I'm alarmed a bit because Why? you should know who you are. You should, and you clearly do not. No. Nope. So can I get out? Um, are I you a danger think... to us? I don't think so. I mean, <clears throat> unless you're going to hurt me, I'm probably not going to hurt you. Oh, well, we might hurt you if you are a danger to us. So I'm just gonna. Why well, would out I there. be a danger? I literally, I don't even know who the fuck this heavy neck is. Hold, please, Magmore. Do you have one of those truth things? Um, you're a cleric. All clerics have one of those things. Yeah, Something but like if I have it prepared or not is the question. Uh, you probably have all fucking fire spells prepared, yeah. don't you, you fucking asshole? Obviously. <laughs> I have fireball, other fireball. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I have fireball, fireball, the fire, fire firestorm. Like, <laughs> yeah, God chimes in, you know you can heal, right? I have a couple of those. Um, I can go rest and we can do this in the morning. Oh, Lord. I'm down um, or whatever. Or just am I going to stay in here for the rest of my life? Can you answer me that? No, no you're not going to stay so. in here for the rest of your life. <sighs> All right, fine. How long? Um, how do you feel about fighting a uh, pirate lord who is trying to kill us and has been for several months and killed a lot of people that we cared about? Uh, you, that you cared about as well up until, I guess, several hours ago. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be honest with you. If it helps me get out of this, yeah, sure. All right, cool. Uh, we're going to put a hold on that. Tomorrow, we'll, you, we'll do the truth thing. Make sure you're good. It's just I'm a good. test. You pass the truth thing, then you're good. All right. Does that sound uh, fair? Yeah, that's fair. Um, can Can you chill until then? To be, I, yeah, I can chill. That's fine. <clears throat> am I supposed to be a good fighter? Yeah, yes. Wow. Um. Well, you, I mean, yes. All right, do you, uh, do you not know how to fight? I mean. Do you remember ever fighting? I feel like I could remember a fight, but I'm telling you. Wow. It's really blank. All right. So, Nocturne, he's in, he's, so he's in this cage. This cage is like good right he doesn't have to be like strapped down in the cage at this point right not technically but i figured with who we're dealing with that he should have his hands at least bound well he seems about three thousand percent more relaxed than the other one 
So like, yeah. There's no like, he doesn't have any tools or anything, so he can't like unlock the lock like with his fucking fingers, right? So like, maybe I do we not can. Think so. That All right, so enough. so let's unstrap him. If somebody wants to just like, I mean, can we get the guy like a like a beer or something? A beer, or like a like a beer. yeah. I think there's rum upstairs, Julia. Just goes oh, there. rum, yeah, rum, rum works. Just like a blah blah blah. Just just get him something. Oh, to... I thought you said a beard, like like to cover his face. I was like, why would he need that? Oh no, yeah, oh, well all. yes, I mean that too. But... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> beer, gotcha, perfect. Yeah, I'm into yes. that. I'll yes. take a beer. Okay, he's chill for the next, you know, until Magma wakes up, and then <laughs> get him a beer, unstrap him. He's fine. I want to talk to the other one. Yeah. Um, that's fine. Uh, there is a sliding door that I can just open really quick. Um, I will warn you, it's loud and he has not stopped. And you can even you can see through this container. Like it's mm -hmm. like heavy, thick glass. Um, and he's just been sitting there like this. Oh no, wait, no, he's, he's strapped up. Cause he's like, he's still, so he's just been sitting there just like glaring at you, just like yelling every once in a while to see if you guys can hear him. And then just like, yeah. As soon as Finn sees him, he's just gonna be like this, and he's gonna continue what he's doing. All right. Yep. So we just slide this thing, and I can talk to him. Yeah. So All right. you want it open? Yep. Can you fucking hear me now? Yeah. Good. This shit sucks. Get me out of here. All right. So he is. So aside from what's happening with this one, can you tell me what happened with the two of you and why there's two of you now? Yeah. I picked out a fucking card. And a card? It, I picked up a card, the one that Sheila's been fucking going crazy about. And I wanted to fucking. I, I literally wanted to take it away from her. And then all of a sudden, I'm in serious fucking pain. And then I'm split. Now, I guess. Um, yeah. W w how how long are you going to poke and prod at me until you realize I'm heavy neck? All right. Just tell me something that only heavy neck would know. That only heavy neck and I would know. See, this fight in name is Juicy Fruit. Uh, we, all, all of our friends burnt to the ground, basically, in his fire. And now they're scattered around the fucking world. We're on a fucking mission to kill the fuck that did that. What more do I gotta say? What? Uh, honestly, I don't know what else you gotta say because I, in my heart, I believe that you're heavy neck. Yeah. It's and not what I believe. It, but you understand why I, it's like alarming a bit. Yeah. But I just don't know how much I have to fucking say until your skin's you realize it's me. Your skin's a different color. You got no tattoos. You like look like a fucking ghostly version of yourself. Yeah. But it's but you split. but but you have your memory and this one does not. That's because probably that one is just like a shell of whatever I was supposed to be, and I got split. Okay, real it's quick. Like moving his shoulders around. <laughs> real quick, you're not going to be stuck like this. I just please give me a, just give me a moment. At least feed me some booze. It somebody's getting it. Don't worry, Thank um, you. Oh, Julia. Yeah. Julia, in your research and readings and whatever, have has anything like this ever happened? And is there any chance on this fucking earth that <laughs> this is a fucking demon that has stolen uh heavy next memories didn't i look at my notes boop, 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 doo, doo, boop, boop, doo. i think you look at the card because huh? obviously obviously you know me my mind goes to the worst possible situation and that to me sounds like the worst possible situation i i watched the, the split happen if did I you close it. the did you close the thing when you turned away to Julia? No. Oh, okay. But you were messaging me though, right? No, no, I was just talking out loud. Oh. Why don't okay. you just do the fucking truth thing to me? The thing, you know, we could all like Yeah, Cat I mean that's Magma do the thing. Yep, that's in the plan. Don't worry about it. All right, good. <laughs> don't forget booze. 
We got yeah, it. Yeah, who whoever's getting booze for heavy, get get one for neck too, please. As Julia walks downstairs with like a bottle of rum. Yeah. So okay, perfect, Julia. Uh, so yeah, the question. Uh, uh, in any of your readings, is so I I don't know. I've never heard of that happening, but like, I. I'd like to think I'd heard of a deck of many things, but if you want to yes. make me roll for it, like... Uh, I mean, you're going to be rolling with advantage, okay. right? What's your modifier? Uh, it is... Uh, what am I rolling? It's um, history. History, a plus seven. Or Arcana. Plus it's seven. probably the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Sheila, we're going to have to talk about that, but that we'll save that for later. Yeah, so you have time to roll with advantage and really think on it, um, but the DC... Whatever, Finn. The DCs could be, like, fairly low. Okay, there. Well, here's hoping. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'd say that's the bare minimum to at least have heard of a deck of many things, or at least a magical deck of cards that does something. Maybe not, you don't, maybe you don't know the actual name, but it's like, yeah, I've heard of, like, magical cards that, like, do magical shit sometimes but like that's like it's like we're talking baseline you heard that like at a bar one time would i at least know that usually they disappear um sorry yeah that they usually they disappear once you pull them um, right Does with he... that role you wouldn't really know no okay that's fine yeah. it's i would just i would probably just go to finn and be like i mean i've heard of magical cards before it's not <laughs> un like unimaginable there's I've never read like specific. Sun it wasn't usually my my forte that specifically. I guess. Anyway, it, I I do know there are cards that can create magical effects. Usually, it's a deck of them. I think. Uh, but yeah, usually you pull it and it does something, and it can be big or it can be either. The stories I heard were like crazy shit happening. Yeah. But it was all, I mean, it never seemed real, what they were saying happened. So I assume it was a level of, you know, whatever. All right, so there's a, so there's a full deck of cards. Sheila, do you have one card or do you have a full deck? Um, I got like one card and you Thank can't touch it. Thank God. Okay, and why hasn't that split you into two people, with one with amnesia? It didn't split me into two. Do you see how moody I am? No, I mean... Finn, if I may interject, I did inspect the car her card. Her card uh, would allow her to cast um, the wish the will the wish incantation. The what? Excuse me? But then she will die afterwards. Wow. Sheila, did you know that? Inherently, yeah. Yeah, and it is just <laughs> so hard on me. You're not gonna like do, to do it, right? Because then you'll fucking die. Not if I keep hearing this bullshit. I am. All right. Well, I mean, we. Okay. Taking our friendship and putting it to the side for the moment, which <laughs> our friendship is real, and I don't want you to die. But also, we fucking need you. So please don't fucking die. I don't plan on using it anytime soon. I'm too busy Perfect. looking Great. at it. Great. Glad we had this conversation. All right. <laughs> you have rum for heavy. You have rum for neck. Can we can we get neck out of the shackles and just don't give him anything pointy to get hey. out of the fucking cage yet? Look, you want me to be nude? I'll be fucking nude. And he just starts, like, taking off. Like, and then he's, like, he's just fully nude. And you can see, like, <laughs> if you haven't seen him fully, like, New, like we're talking he his tats go like all the way to his ass cheeks cover both of it like sides of his legs like he is it's like head to toe with him and he's just sitting there like he's just like finally has at least some rum he's just, like good enough she but sheila <laughs> is gonna shake her head and be like you haven't even been drinking you're taking all your clothes off <laughs> yeah Finn, finn's gonna give him a once over and be like eh, take it or leave it um, I still don't trust him. Keep him on. Keep his shackles on. He runs up and then sticks his bare ass right on the glass. Well, wow. All right. Um, well, that's definitely heavy neck. So yeah, yeah that's so, right. Hey, so here's your rum. We're gonna take off your shackles. You're gonna be in here until Magmor can do the truthy thingy, and it will be fine. All right, I'm in. Perfect. 
Um, like, so I'm sure you heard me say this guy does not remember anything. Do you know what he would? Can you like talk to him and figure out something he would remember? Me, a him. Cause, hey, buddy. Because he remembers like. It seems like he remembers distant things from his past, but not like the current. Hey, buddy. You know what to do with a fucking sword, knife. How about maybe a gun? And you just hear back from the other side. Ah, uh, <clears throat> maybe. Don't really know. <laughs> and heavy next eyes, just like. Remember, they are crystal purple. Just like turn to you and go. He's pretty much useless, I think. He wants to be called Jeremy. What the fuck does yeah. Je- What the fuck is Jeremy? Okay, so that's if you get a call with a demon, that's the fucking demon because only a demon names themselves fucking Jeremy. I mean, I don't think that's true. I don't think hey, that's mate, written anywhere. That's not mate, a thing. Don't you fucking There's go no demons around. named fucking Jeremy. Yeah, mate, and he's like, he's sticking his hand like through the thing. He's like, don't you go walk around telling your name's fucking Jeremy in my body. We're gonna switch or something, so don't fucking blow it. He's he's just like, you know, you really have anger problems. You could probably just maybe chill out for a little bit and then maybe realize that, you know, Jeremy's not really that bad of a name. And they're just gonna start bickering back and forth uh, for the foreseeable, like, I don't know, half hour. One second before you guys continue. Jeremy, where do you want to be right now? I'd like to be out of this and in a safe place. Uh, Specifics, please. Just give me a specific place that you wish you were right now. Someplace homely that I could maybe rest up and find where out. Like, where could I find more about more about this world and where to go? I don't know where to go. More about this world? You don't remember this world? No! What do you mean? Finn, if I may say, do you need the definition of amnesia? You're from this world, right? I don't know. I'm telling you, I don't really remember anything prior, before waking up here. I mean, when I try to, like, think of something, it's like I'm using maybe my imagination, maybe? I don't know. But I'm telling you, I wow. don't really feel like any of my memories that I, if I have them are real. All right. Well. Wow. All right. Booze isn't helping, but. Yeah. Well, you know, enjoy it. It's fine. We have plenty. Um. <clears throat> All right. I guess I'll see you both in the morning. All right. Ed, could you maybe like shut his thing so I don't have to talk to him? Uh. Please. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to be able to sleep. If yeah, knocked on. Do you want to just... Can you do this? Thing? <laughs> Thank you. And you just see Heavy Neck. Now he's up on the... like Just like sitting there like... <laughs> oh, fingers just... Fuck you. <laughs> and he goes over to the wall. He's like... Like right to the... Like to uh, Heavy. Um, it's just like picking up the drink. And like he's just like... He's going to do like some sort of like act routine where he's just like, you know, fucking motherfucking this guy. Maybe he's singing a song and you can't really hear it, but he's just like doing a, this really coordinated thing. Um, the rest of you uh, can leave Nocton to sit there and fun- like, you know, finish up the rest of his tests. Um, but the rest of the night is yours until the morning. What do you want to do? Um, Julia, Magmo, uh, Sheila, uh, Nocton. Uh, Fantasma, you guys want to just come upstairs, have a chat for just a moment? Probably sounds like a good idea. Uh, so you guys can all ascend the stairs to the main cabin um, where uh, you can actually kind of like see out like little portals. All right, Finn, what's up? All right, so this is obviously a problem. Um, and this is going to take away from the confidence that some of the other captains may have in us. If we are seen having this issue right the fuck now at the precipice of uh, fucking trying to end the fucking war with Thaddeus. Um, <clears throat> well, I don't think that they were, they did not seem that uh, off put that you were there. 
So if no. I'm being honest. No, but if they see this thing happening with Heavy Neck, it may be seen as a distraction. They may lose faith in us and our ability to do what we need to do. Um, I wouldn't worry about that. What? How do we all want to handle this? We all just want to wait until the morning. Magmar can do the truthy thing and then see what their intentions are and then I guess I let, them fuck, let them both fucking free. If if they are clean, then yes, I don't see a reason why we need to hold someone against their will. Sheila, he's your best friend. What what do you want to do? Well, I think, given the way that I am right now with this card, <clears throat> that heavy neck needs to be kept under observation. I think that's fair. And who should be keeping him under observation? Should it be I you? will, because I don't trust his sneaky ass. <laughs> and that's <laughs> yeah. the most reasonable thing I think you've said this entire time. Uh, I also think Jeremy Neck. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Neck. Is Nick Heavy Neck's last name? Did I never pick up on that? <laughs> it's Heavy no! Neck. <laughs> it's a complete nickname. <laughs> You guys don't actually also, know his real name. I also think Jeremy Neck is really weird. But I still think it might be the heavy neck that we think is heavy neck. Who so you think, real demon. Do you think I, there's just two of them? I don't I know. I think there's if, two. I wouldn't trust them at all. Either the of them? If we're talking no. about demons, the heavy neck that we automatic is acting like heavy neck is the one that we would want it to be. So like he that could be <clears throat> He could be playing that against us, so like we just need to be careful. And who better than Heavy Neck to know that he's got to play Heavy Neck to deceive us that he's not? And a demonic. I, can you imagine a demonic Heavy Neck with all like, all of his memories? Fucking nightmare fuel. All right, now, if if this truthy thing uh, proves that one of them is in fact some type of demonic evil uh, being, um. We need to find somebody who can uh, thwart evil. Do we know any clerics? Well, um, <laughs> I don't think so. He is just sweating from his temples. <laughs> also, what was it? <laughs> I gotta go look at my spellbook. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> Where did I put my spellbook? <laughs> Yeah, why don't you look into that and see if there's any way that you can like, I don't know, fucking end evil peep evil beings real quick, like uh, like a, <laughs> like a I don't know, some type Knocked of in. channeling your divinity in some type of way. Um, I can well, I okay well, you you figure that out. We'll come back. I can yeah, dis and dispel, while you do that, I can dispel. I have a question. Evil. Is Jeremy Neck connected to Heavy Neck by one neck? But seriously, are they connected? Ooh. If one something happens to one, does it happen to the That's other? Interesting. Finn, um, what if you um tried your little side thing to see and look at them? Did you <clears> try <throat> already? Uh, can I do that today? I can do that tonight before we go to bed. Yes. Um all right, yes. Um, and I guess, well, Julia, I don't really have any specific questions for you, but as somebody who came back to life in a different fucking body, what do you think? It's fucking weird. <laughs> All right, that's, that's yeah, yeah, okay. Fair. Well, it's, <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, the, the idea of someone being split in half and half getting, like, part of them and half getting the other is, like, it sounds like very, very intense magic. Like, that's not something that just happens. It's not some willy-milly spell like, ooh, I just learned my first fireball. No, this is like really, really, really crazy shit. So whatever caused this and whatever's in that card, she points towards Sheila, like, it, we need to be careful about this whole thing, whatever it could attract or whatever that's doing to Sheila or anyone. And just the whole thing is very suspect and i to be honest i don't trust either of them regardless of who or what comes out of this they just 
I don't know. Maybe we can like push them back together. That's a, I for me that like seems just, like like squish them. I mean, we'd need someone very, very potent at magic to be able to like them back together. But if it's one split, I mean, I watched him tear in half. If there's you do a way know to some of the most powerful sorcerers out there, there's a way to put him back together. To say, um, if I may interject, um, I don't want to lose the thought, um, Sheila. I know that you are very attached to that card, um, but I think that we should put it someplace safer than your person as her I hand starts maybe, shaking I, as she's touching it she's I gonna be like what are you talking she's, about she's like holding her hand up if we let it and left it at Thoradis's, he could stay with it he could contain it and maybe learn more about it but i think Bra i'm going to be very honest with you girl i this is with you with that card is different and i don't think it's your best version you're 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 gonna have to take me to Loratus then. To... You're going to die even if you use it. What is the point? Because it looks good with me. Oh, and she just turns and like, girl, you get that? It. It's like, I'm... Sheila, think on it. But it's it's. I think at least it would be safer somewhere else. I mean, Loratus seems like a nice guy, but I mean, I don't know him as well as you do. But he seems relatively inept with I, I could see it going one of two ways either it's a good thing then he has some place to put it or now you've given someone with that sort of power or something very mm. dangerous I don't know I it's... trust uh, I trust Rodis would never touch it okay so Julia makes a great point which I hadn't thought of thank you for thinking like a person who doesn't know him personally um <laughs> because we knew, sh we know, sh uh, we not not knew. We know Sheila, and we love Sheila, and Sheila's wonderful. And this has completely changed Sheila from the moment she laid eyes on it. Were we to put this in front of Loratus, would he then become a different person? I'm pretty sure you probably have to touch him. You're pretty sure is not true enough. I don't think. Well, well we can run in more tests. We have nothing. <clears throat> But the, okay, I see your point, and I don't want to, to, to downplay it, but what if it doesn't? And then what if we could just put it in a container that nobody has to touch? Uh, maybe. I wish there was another dimensional thing that I could do. Um, Sheila, can you... I'm not going to touch it. Can you just put it on the ground in front of you? I'll take... She take back. Julia takes like five steps back. I can't... You see how long these arms are? I can't even fucking she touch it. Sheila is going to get, like, in this kind of, like, athletic stance and, like, shunt at everyone, telling them to back up. Mitesh was going to back up with, like, her arms on y'all's chest to, like, do the bouncer thing. And right, she's she's going to pick it right back up. She's going to put this shit, like, right between her, like, feet so that you guys have to, like, literally I'll get right between back, sorry. her legs to get it. <laughs> if you try to get it. Okay. It's just, you're doing great. So just barely slowly, very slowly, she's saying this out loud. <laughs> very Perfect. slowly. Perfect. Okay, now she... And Sheila drops it. Okay. So now when she when it hits the floor, does it change colors or anything? As you get closer to it and like lean in, uh, you I tried not to get that, too close. <laughs> as yeah, as she dropped it, it still remains to be the card of like uh, the queen of. Diamonds? I can't remember what it was. But it's the moon card. So mm -hmm. it is still the moon card. Okay. So it doesn't, it doesn't like... Well, it's not changing. Yeah, it doesn't like move around or change, move, like do anything. Um, And if Sheila wants to roll a history check for me... Yep. It has to be pretty high. Above, above, above a 16. Absolutely <laughs> not. She has no, no idea... She has no idea if this card was the moon card when she picked it up, but it is now, and that's all she fucking knows. It's fine. Um, I think it's touch. And then she's like, "Wait, give me, give me, give me stick!" And she like takes a like she, you know, she like druid crafts this like pulls one of the like the planks and just like pulls out this like long almost like one like stick, just like pokes it, and then just like. If Julia, if you're right next to her, she pokes and goes, ah! 
<laughs> it's fine. And then she pokes it again and just kind of like spins like on its axis. What's happening to Sheila's demeanor right now? She, I mean, you can play it how you like. Um, I, it, it's it's your personality change because uh, I did not plan that. <laughs> so if you're going to treat this as such, they, she's being a little rough with it. She's you need like, to slow down. Uh, what? Slow. That's easy. You're pushing it too far. You're well, pushing I'm it too far. I'm not pushing it at all anymore. You, she, when it's your turn, you she, can she, have she, it. I'm not touching that thing. And I don't think anybody here else should touch it either. After seeing what it did to Heavy, I want nothing to do with it. Literally. You wouldn't be able to hang anyways. So, it, okay, so dangerous. it looks, it definitely didn't change when you dropped it. And nope. it apparently grants you the wish spell by killing you. It didn't kill Heavy Neck. What? Is there a chance he wished for something? Maybe it has different effects on different I, people? Uh, well, maybe, maybe he we wished could... to be better and it tore him in half or something? Hmm. Have you wished to be two people? It looked painful as hell, so whatever happened to him. Based upon what I know of, of Heavy, I don't think that he ever wants to be anybody but himself. Okay. That kind of wish? I would have thought he would have wished for booze or something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe our friend's back. I don't know. He doesn't seem like that empathetic of a guy. No, he would have definitely now. done friends. Um... I don't know. I mean, the the only way to do this is to have someone else touch it, and that's a bad idea. Do we have anyone we don't like? Uh, yeah, well, that was the thing. What if we could use it as, like, a trick? Oh, what do you mean? But then they have it, and then they could use it if they, re if they, if they don't die and they realize that they could use it, and then it's just a cycle of... So Huh. We're just so, gonna pass a curse card on to people. I don't know. I mean, I, wizards are crazy people. They do things like that don't make sense half the time. Yeah, they think they do more about the can we, not should we. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I, that's why I like the drugs. Sheila's thing. gonna start getting like a headache, and she's gonna like sweat and be like, "Oh man, I feel like I want to like touch that card again." <laughs> you can, you can Sheila? Pick it back up, Sheila. She like she takes a step forward. Sheila, how are you feeling? Uh, I'm starting to get like a headache, and like it's a little bright. Can anybody? Can anybody do the? Just wait. Does the Baroness have a chance? She does not. I think I do. That's a that's a wizard mostly. I think. Um, Sheila, would you be yeah. okay if we tried to get the card into your magical sack without you touching it? Yeah, just if you get it near me, that's like fine. Can, but, can you oh, put man. the can you put the sack down, and then we'll just kind of like poke it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool with me. <laughs> I'm gonna like unzip it, and like my head is starting to really hurt, so it just like some bunch of random shit falls out. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even want to know what's in that fucking thing. Uh, and they... I, and I drop the bag on the ground half open. Uh, Finn. While you are away, uh, Julia has put the, or sorry, Sheila was able to put the card down, uh, and nothing happened when everybody looked at it, um, and uh, Phantasm was able to poke it with a stick, and nothing seemed to happen with that either. It also um, didn't so, change when she dropped it. Yeah, so it remains the card that she had originally. And so, okay. could you please put your bag on the ground? Got. All right, so Julia, would you roll uh, a dexterity check as you're like helping uh, Julia, like, or sorry, not you're helping Phantasma, like, get it in there? Just straight she dexterity. Looks, right, she yeah. looks very shaky as she's like holding the bag. As long as this isn't gonna result in me fucking touching it, because if it is, I want no, nothing. No, no, you're no, you're helping. If I fail this roll. No, 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 that, no! You're using the stick to try and flick it up into the bag. It's not going to be anywhere near your hands or your body. I just got like 
I don't yeah, need no. I, I don't need no one, and then you being like, "Oh, you slip and touch it." No, like that one. <laughs> no, that no, no, one no. You like flip it and it hits somebody. Yeah. I just didn't want. I just didn't want Phantasm. I just. I didn't want to roll the roll. Uh, so you were sitting there helping Phantasma like <laughs> get her like balancing it, and then like dump it into the bag, and then <clears throat> button it up. And Sheila, <clears throat> you're probably gonna have like the hangover of wanting to touch the the card. Um. But what I'll do is I'm gonna roll like when we when you wake up the next day I'll just roll a d20 and if it's below a <clears> five <throat> you're gonna start having cravings. Okay, cool. But for That's right now it's just like you got like a little hangover. All right. Well, thank you, Sheila. That was very mature of you. You know, it's just a, a a girl tries, especially when her head is throbbing. You know what you I found one of the best that. ways to fix that is? She pulls the bottle of rum and hands it to you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, It'll be pounding for a different probably reason. probably seems the best course of action. Sheila, let me put you to bed. Uh, yeah, and did someone hand me a cigarette, but not from my bag? Uh, oh, yeah, your bag is pretty much off limits now. Um, <laughs> doesn't Heavy Neck probably have those? He's uh, yeah. Heavy Neck Heavy Nick might, or like, you could check Zilch's things. He might have some. Mm. All right. Uh, she's going to go look for you, Sheila. Oh, no. I can just do <clears> this. <throat> no. I don't even know where he put stuff. Come on. Let's just go through bed. You have rum. Come on. You're right. You don't need it. Uh, and sh sh Sheila's going to walk down the stairs with her arm, like, just draped over Phantasma, um, almost like they're, like, she's, like, completely hammered, but she just kind of, like, lunge, like, just takes a few big old steps down the stairs and disappears. Um, the rest of you, what do you want to do? <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you all for having this conversation, because <clears throat> while I may be gonna... act, while I may be acting captain here, I just... Uh, it's important that we make these decisions together, especially huge ones involving members of our crew. Does he often do crazy shit like this and that get you guys a little like riled up? Almost every day. Oh, okay. Who? Okay. Heavy neck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I just, it, it seemed <clears throat> like you guys don't seem as phased by this as I, I would be. So. This is oh. the to the oh. Besides oh, I'm being, phased. Besides <laughs> there being two of them, this is uh, just a normal day. Yeah, it's yeah, really jaded, right. this. <laughs> my, my, my stress levels are actually more than when we were running from uh, the, uh, the assassins in Gnosi. Uh, but Right now, I have all everyone here so that we can all deal with this together and we can make these decisions. Thank you for dealing with Sheila because that was one thing that we absolutely did not need to deal with. Um, the issues that's definitely some addiction right there on her face. So, uh, yes, so we're probably no gonna wake up in the morning and she's probably gonna have it in her hands again, but we will deal with that when we deal with that. Yeah. Right. And and Magmar, you you're good for the morning, and we'll deal with. Yeah, so I, I also can do detect good or evil, so I can throw that up before Zone of Truth. And just perfect. I can sense if he if anyone's possessed. That's great. That's perfect. That's exactly just, what we need. Just make sure Sheila isn't around because I'm not sure she's not possessed by something at the moment. I mean, it might might be good to know that as well. But like, would I don't know if that's going to interfere if I'll be able to specify. Oh, I honestly thing. don't know how that works. I, um, maybe, maybe if we had a cleric, they could figure that out. I will. I'll try. I'm not. I'll... <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> All right. Jeez. And with that being said, I'm going to bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So you guys uh, go and descend down to the stairs to go get to your bunks. Um, Sheila, uh, roll me a perception check at disadvantage. Yeah. <clears throat> a 10. All right. So as you guys get down to the stairs, Sheila is already out. She's already asleep. And Phantasma is just sliding her uh, hat, like her little like uh magical like uh fanny pack off of her waist 
And as you guys get down to the stairs, she's just holding it there and goes, okay, we should take it out of this, yeah? Do you want to deal with her in the morning? I mean, sure, but you can't just... Oh, you mean take it out and put the fanny pack back on her so she thinks it's in there. Yeah, come on. We could take it out and just drop it to the bottom of the ocean. We could do that, or maybe like shunt it into another plane. I don't care. I mean, that's a more magical uh, solution to this, but yes, yes. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I, I could bring it somewhere where should i bring it i don't i i I don't know but it should not be anywhere where she can touch it i mean i could put it into a different plane if we really want to i mean would it stay there if i feel like if i am not if i well i would have to be touching it somehow and then if i just drop it i don't know if it would then come with me if i come back i don't think so I think Probably not. Just like go to the place, open the bag, dump it out, and then just don't touch it, back away, and leave. That's what I'm thinking. Isn't it one of those things when you invert those bags, everything comes out? Maybe, probably. I don't know. That's fine if everything. I mean, what's what else is in it? <laughs> Who goddamn knows? <laughs> Get ready to figure out everything in Sheila's yeah, inventory. Yeah, Sheila, you better be going over inventory here. Probably a bunch of shit she doesn't need, right? Yeah. It, what uh, to be honest, if if one of my crew members had brought this on, I would have considered everything in this bag lost. It's just gone. <clears throat> I, I would have. I mean, that's checked fair. it, but I respect Sheila. I'll just can I it. can I see the bag? Yeah, so you say she gives it to you. Um, Finn is going to teleport. All right, where are you going? Um, to an undisclosed place that he's not going to tell anybody else. Okay, so <laughs> solid. Could you send it to me in a message? Yes. <clears throat> this is fantastic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Did so many stumps. Yeah. Wait, we had this many tickets. Yeah, what? Sheila, oh. Sheila, you better come up with a funny list of all like the random <laughs> shit and odds and ends that would be in there. Yeah, that's funny. Oh shit. I was gonna say the real question is: there okay. anything actually useful in that bag, or is it literally just like <laughs> anywhere specific? Uh, I'm going to dig a hole and drop everything in and then bury it. Okay. All right. So, um, I'll say just roll a survival check for right, me. right in the middle, right in the middle. Okay. Oh roll God. a survival check to see how long it's going to take you to do this, to dig this hole. It'd be easy enough. You are like, uh, f- like hyper focused on this and you find like a nice big old rock and you just can like dig in. The ground is nice and soft as like you're like just churning away. And as you dump the contents of her bag out, um, the card is going to come out. But along with, I want to say, let's call it three other things. Sheila, what other three random objects would pop out of your bag as it dumps into this like <laughs> little medium sized hole? <laughs> um. <laughs> A couple of empty bottles of mascara. (laughs) (laughs) Of liquid mascara that she paints on as like war paint. (laughs) (laughs) Money money from three different cities, but all of it is (laughs) like paper currency. But not if it's like useful here because it's all from Gnosiasos. <laughs> all right, nice, nice. So money. Yeah. Last um, uh, and a uh, and a backing of an earring. <laughs> it's literally, it's just, I, no, it's just can a it big be, trash can. Can, can, can it be 
can it be a like a like a rat rat king's worth of like earrings that are just like hoop earrings that are just like yeah. linked together in this mask? Yeah, because that, that's how she keeps them all together. Just dumps out with it. No, can... no, banded with a hair tie. Nice, <laughs> perfect. Uh, so fit, absolutely fit, cool. Finn's gonna look at that and just be like. There's nothing important in here. <laughs> she has just been bringing this around everywhere. We have a fucking bag of holding, and there's nothing in here. <laughs> what oh, the actual a barbell? <laughs> You're just, I, you... I feel like the barbell falls out at the last second. And hits yeah, the yeah, yeah, just like right at the end. You Ow! take it. <laughs> oh. Oh, and as you're just motherfucking <laughs> Sheila getting the dirt and pouring and getting a nice pat down as you level it off so that it looks, you know, you'd have to roll pretty high to be able to see it. Um, but it's all good. It takes you the better part of like 30 minutes. All right. Um, and then after that. What, where do you think he went? No idea. I'm going to bed. I don't want any more part of this. I don't want to know. I'm going to bed. See you later. Okay, bye, Magmar. Um, I don't want to be an accomplice in the war crimes <laughs> that she's going to commit against all of you. Yeah, right. No, don't worry. She'll be fine. She's going to realize when she's better that it was good that we did this. Did you see there how... Was no positive thing that came out of what she had. Did you see how ill she was when she was... <laughs> Five feet away from it. I'm yeah, at, I'm, it's like it's like someone who's really into puffer fins, and they like stop <clears throat> doing puffer fins really quickly. They get their shakes. She was clearly it, going. It goes to away work. eventually. It's, she's yeah. also a rage fueled barbarian. So I mean, that's a little concerning. She is loving, and we will remind her of that. And <clears throat> hopefully, we'll we won't have to worry about this because as long as she doesn't know that if the card's not in there. And we don't have to worry anything because you'll never touch it. That's All right, point. Finn is going to convert a bunch of sorcery points <laughs> so that he can teleportation circle um, okay. somewhere else first. Okay. <clears throat> this is the, lo the life of a, a plane walker. Yeah, nice. And hold on, I'm going to message you what, what I'm doing right now. <laughs> nice. All right, while well, it's happening, I got to pee. You know what, nice. let's take a break. Yeah, okay. perfect. What's happening? He'll he'll write me a message. Um, we'll go to the bathroom. A little early break, early start. We're just all over the place here, but we'll see you back <laughs> in ten minutes, maybe. Sure. All right.
Hello and welcome back, everybody. Uh, we are uh, just finishing up our uh, little excursion with our boy Finn. Uh, he has teleported to an undisclosed location to deposit a uh, definitely evil, terrible card along with a few odds and ends from Sheila's purse. <laughs> Just a few. Buried it in the ground uh, in a pretty nice, healthy, medium-sized hole. Uh, and then we're going to pick it. We're picking back up with you teleporting to Loratus's just for a brief moment as you're like getting all like the water out of your robes and like out of your <laughs> hair. You hear just the, ah, hello. And like the feet of like these like tiny little like dragonborn claws, like. <clears throat> walking for like towards you and as you start to cast your spell to get the fuck out of there you just barely hear the door open and like uh as you disappear she's just gonna go dad <laughs> as you zoom appear back onto the terror of the deep um walking you are now uh above I'm, on the main I'm cabin yeah yeah, um, I, well, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll appear like in the teleportation circle room. Yeah, holding the uh, like... fanny pack. Yeah. How long do you think it's going to take him to do this? But oh, Finn, 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 Finn. not that long. Okay, all right. <laughs> I'm not very good at this whole like sliding things on. And the like, fuck you aren't. You just took it off of her. I, I I think I just got lucky. Um, can somebody help me at least to try and like, get it back into position? All oh, right. <sighs> All right, please. Thank you. Um. So right. first off, the people who are doing this are going to have to roll a stealth check as they position themselves around Sheila. Sheila, what is your passive perception? There's a 17. 17. Okay. Oh, boy. But she's asleep. Um, I'd say that we get to roll our, our rolls. <laughs> okay. All right. Shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you sort of reach around, Sheila, uh, you just feel like there is something brushing across your leg. Uh, your eyes <laughs> start to open. And Fantasma, it looks like Fantasma is like holding the bag, this bag above your head, like, you know, like almost like three feet off away from you, but just like touching. She goes, ha, hey. are you trying to steal my bag? No, you were going for it. I was trying to get it out of your grasp. You were trying to open the bag. She's going to roll a deception check. <laughs> right, Finn? Yes. <laughs> Yes, we felt it was better for oh, you too. No! <laughs> we felt it was better for this to not be in your clutches while you sleep. Yeah, it's not safe. Come on, Sheila. Well, What's well, why does he sound so convincing and you suck, Fantasma? Girl, you make her fucking nervous. <laughs> yeah, because you, you could crush me and I don't want that to happen. I am a slow goddess. Yes, you are. If it's it's like you could, like, it would be like a little berry. Can, can we get a gaslight check? <laughs> Don't touch my shit again. <laughs> we promise. Good night. Her hands, like she's just she quickly backs away from you. Well, uh, Finn's gonna be like, "Are you sure you want to hold that while you sleep?" Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. What, are, what can we like? Can we put something around it so that at least you can't open it in your sleep? Like a rope. Sure. Like, please, that would at least make me feel better. Yeah, yeah. Tie it, tie it up with a rope or something, like oh, or chains. So she, uh oh, yeah. That would actually be better. Um, so she's gonna go find like a few, like uh, just a small coil of um, like this thin chain. Uh, she starts and just like wraps it around like we're talking like <clears throat> it looks like just a giant like chain burrito 
<laughs> oh, this nice soft pillow I have now to sleep with. Thank she you. Just to wait, and then she's going to cast heat metal on the two chain links to then like fuse them together so it's nice and tight and it's not going anywhere. Now you can sleep with it. Ah. <laughs> um, just be careful, all right? Because you could probably break that. So just be careful. Well, you know how I sleep sometimes. Yeah, very it's a little crazy. All right, well, good night, Sheila. Be safe. Good night. As you just hear the clunking of metal rattling a little <laughs> bit. Um, she, she turns around and looks at you and goes, and she's like, she's like, walks you into the other room, like, I try. Bed. Let's just all go to bed. Let's just all go to bed. <laughs> you guys Fucking all just done like... with today. <laughs> I'm dead. You, uh, can stumble into bed very late, but you will be able to get your full long rest in. Um, you guys can wake up with a brand new day in front of you. <clears throat> prepare what spells you will. Um, but it's disgusting. Um, just I might have to jump off for a few minutes at some point. At some point, but. <sighs> All right, so long rest. Good morning, everybody. Phantasm is sitting there. I have coffee. Yes. She like just gives you each like a little, you know, like brass cup. Actually, probably yeah, brass is fine. Good morning. Can someone give me the pot? <laughs> yeah, don't worry, babe. Here it is. <laughs> um. It's a metal French press, uh, but it's definitely functional um, and is scalding hot. <laughs> Do you just like pour it down your gullet? Go. go. Okay, can you only a con save? Basically ingesting like that McDonald's really coffee hot. that scalded that lady. No oh yeah, I mean, it's gonna burn and you're gonna talk. You're gonna like almost talk a little bit lower for like maybe today, but like you don't take any damage. <laughs> Just like I like it. I cannot believe that she can do that. That's do you know how hot that was? That's really alarming. Uh, but you know, it's not surprising at all. It's good to know, I guess. She can drink lava. Congratulations, <laughs> Sheila. Um, but uh, we should probably deal with the heavy and neck problem as soon as possible. Yes, shall we? Mm -hmm. Magma, are you good? Yeah, I think so. All right. Uh, did you want to do that evil and good thing first? Yeah, uh, I'm going to do that first before we even say anything because it's just uh, automatic and I'll just detect if it, it <clears throat> is radius. Okay. Um, by the way, I also received um, some news from some people that I think after we handle this, you'll want to hear. Um, okay. But yeah, uh, do you cast it immediately? or? Yes. All right. So, <clears throat> okay. Congratulations, you know where, um, what is it, Trisket? Yep. Trisket's nearby. Hey! Um, but, um, Nothing else. I'll make like things your spell. Okay. The only thing that I'm picking up is what I believe to be your little dragon friend. Oh, he's here. Okay, good. He's here somewhere. Trisket. Can I uh, like try to get animal handling check? <clears throat> um, I'm gonna do like a shock and grasp first, like just in the air. <laughs> All right. I'll let's, um, I'll uh, I'll let you roll with advantage on that then. 
Uh, <clears throat> maybe just a little him? scared at the moment. Not coming out. All right. Well, I'll we'll find you later. Um. <clears throat> All right. Cool. You wanna knock, knock, and then I'm gonna open the thing. You just hear this loud ass fucking snoring. <laughs> He's not up yet. Uh, okay. Dipshit. Did he drink all the rum? Oh, absolutely. Um, there's puke in the corner. Oh yeah, he definitely did. Uh, can I reach him from where he is? No, you'd have to open the door. But as you say, you try to rile him away. What? It's time to uh, either let you to get out, and he just like rolls over and goes. Yeah, it's time to either let you out or set you free, or oh, let you out or kill you. Make it. Ugh, yep. and he like just like yep, gets up and goes, oh. All right, let's get it over with. His eyes aren't even open. All right, Magma. Okay. So he'll, I mean, he'll have to make a charisma of eighteen, but I'll know if he resists it or not. All right. Well. Yeah, Mag Magma is gonna know if you resist, so you should just not do that. Nice. Okay, you know he saved. <clears throat> Can't he choose not to save? I think he can. I don't but know. He rolled. <laughs> but he doesn't. Okay, what's go <laughs> what's going on? Like, do you? I mean, I know he passed. So I'm gonna ask anyway. Do you mean us any harm? I mean, sometimes I mean you guys harm when you piss me off, but right now, eh, kind of. If you, I'd like to get out of here, but I'm talking like I'd like maybe like slap you or maybe like try to spit on you like I did that one time when we were in the underworld, like, you know, when we did, went down to Gnosis. That's fair. Is he telling the truth? I doesn't, I, <clears throat> I don't know. He re He resisted the spell. <laughs> What why would you resist? Booze, why neck? would you resist the spell, Heavy Neck? Why would you resist the spell? What? What do you mean? It's a truth um, spell. You just gonna, fucking. Uh, you just it fail again. it on purpose. Yeah, I'm gonna cast it again. Um, okay, I'm gonna fail it on purpose. Oh, <laughs> okay. And he just like and he just like smacks his like whole belly right at the <laughs> He's like, read me like a book. <laughs> <laughs> Drop me like one of your French girls. There's no tattoos on this one to read, but anyway. Uh, um okay all right is he good this time uh he, 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 ask, him like, ask him again yeah um, he failed. okay so i would is he telling the truth i'm not gonna hurt you guys i'm really not i want to help you guys i want to avenge our fucking friends okay. i want to kill thaddeus and is sheila all right he is he he seems to be genuine Right. She good? Sheila, you good? Ah, oh, heavy. It's wicked headache. I got my goggles on. I'm gonna walk in in a second. Oh, uh, did you drink the rum too? Heavy neck. I swear to God. There's a lot of things. You need to focus. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> you just need to answer this yes or no because you're yes. in the truth thing. Are you who you claim to be? Yes, I am heavy neck. And then he's gonna look at Magmar. Which, is is there anybody this? else? Is there anybody else in your body with you who may mean to cause us harm? No, I don't think so. Uh, there's, I mean, besides <laughs> our voices, you know. <laughs> no, I don't think so. How about this? How about this? My real name is Slim Tangle. That That's checks out. Name. That's worse than heavy neck. Oh, I that know. is worse than heavy neck. That's worse than Jeremy. Wow. All right, okay, so Slim Tangle. I'm not fucking lying. That was the truth. That, that, oh, Jesus Christ, that's really a name. Okay. Yeah. All right, so there's nobody else in your body that's, there's no demons, no nothing, no, no anything. No, there's no demons. Magma. He's being truthful. Everything he said. I just I'm feel a little cranky no lie. as usual. All right, cool. So this one's good. Jeremy. Thank God, can you open the door, please? I want to put my real clothes on. One like... fucking second. We got to interview Jeremy. I don't Jeremy. Care about Jeremy. 
Close the fucking door. <laughs> Jeremy. Yeah. Uh, are you who you claim to be? By means of I don't know who I am. Yes, I am. Jer- I am Jeremy. Magma. He he's telling the truth too. It's a zone, so like I don't have to cast <clears throat> again this up because it's concentration. All so, right. Yeah, he, he's he believes everything he's saying too. <sighs> okay. Do you mean to cause us any harm? No, absolutely have you, not. Have you been withholding any information from us to this point? That's a good question. Absolutely not. Magma? No lies detected. Fuck. All right. Before you let the... I want to ask that question to the other one. She slides the, like, the little porthole open again. Okay. Have you been yeah, withholding anything up? from us? All the time. No. Why did you pick up the card? Because I didn't want Sheila to have it. Ouch. I could see it was fucking dangerous and she wasn't supposed to have it. I've been around cursed things before and I know a cursed object when I see it. And he's just like sitting there and he like like licks the... <laughs> now could you please let me out? So, has is that hold up? Eyes, no eyes detected. All right, Julius, tell me no question one else fucking touched it. Nope. <clears throat> Sheila still got it. It's currently in her bag, where it will stay forever. Because oh. it's surrounded by fucking chains. Um, good, good. Julia, right. you, Julia, you good? Because you seem to have a good line of questioning here that I am failing at. I know you don't no. know how you've retained your memory because that would be if you did then this would, this whole situation wouldn't be here but absolutely no idea what happened to you I I watched you pick up the card and you screamed a lot do you remember what happened to you all right so I was thinking about it before I was before I got too blackout and like and I went, I opened the bag, I reached in, I touched the card, and when I touched the card, that's when it. I tried to look at it, and it just started changing a bunch, and then all of a sudden, my entire body was like, well, no, because he lost his memory first, and then he drew the card that split him. No, and then, then he drew the card that... Um, yeah, then he drew the card that split him into a fighter. Um, <clears throat> so I remember picking it back up. Oh yeah, and then, then there was the the reverse the event tied in there as well because he 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 because that's what pulled him back in, and then what pulled him back in is he separated into two. So I picked it back up, or no, I picked it up and <clears throat> I felt myself like immediately tearing apart. And then I wished to God it would stop, and it immediately did. And then I was shunted out, and then I remember hitting my head, and then I was out. And then I woke up with you guys putting me <clears throat> through the right, through the fucking faces. So you also wished something, but you didn't die. I mean, maybe I don't know. The but here, let, I'll do it this way. He's gonna roll a history check to see if he can remember because he did look down. Mm. I mean, the card. I, the only thing I can remember is the card was like changing a lot while I fir- was first looking at it. The card changes. Yeah, I, I, I don't it's know. different for everyone who touches it. Yeah. So interesting. It. It's <clears throat> any none of it could be good. All right. I don't uh, know no. what it is. I don't know who made it, but they need to. Do, I hope they live in the worst way, like they have the worst demise possible. Knocked on, Fantasma. Any questions for Neck? One last question. Well, I guess he's just heavy neck because there's a Jeremy. Okay, it's Jeremy <laughs> heavy neck. I can't believe you. If, if we can figure out how to 
put you two back together, would you do it? He looks over and goes, I mean, he's on the exact same. If you're going to go by Jeremy, you're going to have to probably deal with all of my bullshit. So, hmm, can I think about it? <clears throat> Jeremy, Jeremy's like, um, I, I kind of, I kind of would like to maybe beat myself. I, maybe, could, if you could switch us, maybe I, I not not trying to shame your, your tats here, babe, but the, I don't, they're not my thing. They're not, I'm not, but if you could do that, that'd be cool. Um, sorry, I need a minute here. I'll be back in a sec. You're fine. Um, okay, so that's I don't really. So we will just he have seems to genuine you forever. Just, I mean, we, we're obviously going to, and heavy neck, please don't take offense to this. We're going to keep you under watch just for a little bit until we know that it's not something that you know is a progress thing or whatever. Um, so, um, I really don't have anything. Um, not then just goes. Would you be open to more examinations? And Heavy Next goes, if you can make me that chain I was talking about, then yeah, absolutely. But not until the chain's finished. And Nocton just goes, right away. And it's just like, watch the <laughs> he can to, to like, do something. And I don't know what he's going to do, but he's going to try to make something. Um, so he, he leaves. Um, all right, can you... Can you guys just let us out? It just seems inappropriate for me to be this naked in front of you for this long. I mean, I probably have been naked in front of you for longer, but yes. come yeah. on. All right. I mean, all Julia right. doesn't have anything else. Phantasma, like, she raises her hand. She's like, all right, th I vote. Okay. Sure. You guys should, like, touch fingers or something once you're out. See if you, like... Okay. All right. Uh, we'll touch fingers. Fusion. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know, but you gotta stand like this. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> so, you guys slowly get knocked and back in to um, work the combination to the doors, uh, eventually opening them, allowing Heavy Neck and Jeremy to walk out of the cages. <clears throat> um. Heavy Next just looks at him and goes, and they just like bump fists real slowly, and all of the lights go down, and then everything dies, and we have to start a new campaign. Yay! Um, <laughs> I win. Um, no, nothing happens. There's not a single like you can't. There's no spark. There's no nothing. nothing. It just looks like two dudes dapping up, and one of them's absolutely naked. <laughs> So, um, oh, that was anticlimactic. Sheila, where are my fucking things? Please wait, Captain's course. I knew that, and he just like scurries away and just like, yeah, yeah, shut up, fuck you. As you know, Max is over there, just like kind of probably going just as he walks by. Um, obviously, oh my God, I can't believe he coffee. slept in that puke smell all night. Oh, Holy dude, it's it, shit. It's, it is that, rank. That's his happy place. Hmm. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, all right. Well, that's fine. Um, Heavy Neck has disappeared up into the captain's quarters. And Jerry's like, um, all right, um, what, so you guys said you needed help, and since you're more the option, I, I guess I'm, I'm here to help. Um, what can so, I do? so we, we need help, but also you, you seem to not have any of the skills that you used to have, unless you do, and you just don't, don't know. I don't know. What I used to be good at. Does it, anyone have a knife? Yeah, I do a, a backflip. Trying to give it away. <laughs> no, 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 just like here. Yeah, yeah. do a backflip. Julia like looks around. I'm or sure there's got to be like, like swords somewhere, right? F Finn, Finn's gonna, gonna, gonna hand back. Finn's gonna hand Julia his plus two dagger. Okay, she's gonna hand a it very nice dagger. to Heavy Neck and be like, "Okay, stab me." Try to. Bolton goes. 
Well, like, actually... Yeah, try to stab me. Come on. Do it. Do it. She, like... No, I don't want to do this. Just this try... Fucking... She, no. can... <laughs> she, like, pushes him a little bit, trying to antagonize him. All right, roll a, um... Roll... Let's say a persuasion check. I'm not very good at these. No. <laughs> no you There's right. a dump stat for me somewhere, and right. it's that one. So, I think I know how I want to play it. Um, you did it awfully. Um, however, just pushing, like, even lightly <clears throat> on his shoulder triggers, like, that sleeper cell sort of, like, and he, like, swiftly just tr starts to like go and start to just drive it right into your armpit. Jesus uh, Christ. Gonna roll an attack. Yes. Ah! That's all Sheila's gonna do is just go. Uh, oh. Wait, is anybody else around him? I mean, yeah, we're all I'm, standing I, around. Yeah, yeah all I, I would be standing right next to Julia. Yeah. Okay, all right, all right, all right, okay good. So I don't have to make a new around. character. <laughs> oh, yeah. That hits. Okay, so... It's piercing because I just that's Goldie because Goldie's a one d four, so it's eight piercing damage as it just drives right it like right at your collarbone and like kind of glances off. He's like, oh, and he immediately drops the dagger. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, well he's got something left. Well, he, like, she like rubs something. her shoulder, and then he like well, goes and he picks, he picks the dagger up. And he's just like. <clears throat> And he starts like make movements, and he like leans to one side. And he's like, "Oh, oh, oh all right." Sheila's gonna throw something now at him. Okay, uh, roll an attack. All right, just a straight D twenty for a throw. Yeah. Well. All right. Uh, you start to throw it high, and uh, like it catches his eye, and he's gonna uh just try and hit it with like in his peripherals. You are the pan. 19. Uh, <laughs> it just <laughs> cuts in half. Damn. Well, he well, definitely has heavy next abilities. All right. So what did this guy do prior to this whole split? Cause... So first of all, I'll take that back, please. Thank you. Yeah, OK. That's Thanks. Nice. OK, perfect. Um, we'll get <laughs> you We'll get you your own. Um, and you're going to need some training, I guess. Will he though? I think no, not, not like needs... training, training, just like he needs on the job role. training. I don't. Yeah, like, like combat training. Maybe she like can help you out with that. A dagger. The dagger seems like. What would you prefer? Out of curiosity, I don't want to be close. What What feels natural to you? Uh, do you know? Do you know of weapons, Jeremy? Net? Do you remember what weapons are? I mean, I know what weapons are. I just I'm trying to think of what I like, like bow, arrow, <clears throat> crossbow, that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you want to be like a range? Yeah, I don't want to be close. Heavy neck is a range fighter. Interesting. Um. Yeah, we'll we'll find something for you. I think we, I think we got a leftover blaster back there from that uh, I took from Gnosi. <laughs> Hila's gonna bat her hand at that and then look at Julia and be like, that's all you, girl. <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right. Are you good at? Sort of, yeah. It's uh all right, we'll go find you a a bow. And she just goes like rooting through the weapons closet wherever it exists. <clears throat> Is there an Eldritch blaster in there? Oh my God. Our, what? Throwing, like... <laughs> Our weapons closet needs to be like a high school, <laughs> like a high school yeah, sports room closet. It, it is. It is so haphazardly thrown together. Shit is like it's like the pyramid game stacked on top of each other. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to think there's one wall that's like has like a few hooks that have things hung on them, and then we just gave up. Oh yeah, and like there's there's one leather like gauntlet that's hanging up in the very back right. That everything else like the hooks have either been pulled off or like just like completely not in use, and everything is just on the floor. Um, yeah, yeah, you could root around and find like like a dagger. Uh, well, a dagger, uh, like maybe a longbow, or uh, short like or maybe yeah, I'd say a longbow and a short bow. Um, but. I think the Eldritch Blaster was in Sheila's thing. 
Let me roll. If it's above a 10, it's not. If it's below a 10, it is. All right, it's not. You dig through. It takes you a fucking minute, though. And eventually, <laughs> your hand hits the trigger, and it just shoots off this red beam. And, <clears throat> and it's like it bounces once off the wood and then just leave this giant black spot on the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Be it careful is. with that. Found it. What the fuck was that? Uh, That could be your new weapon, if you'd like. Uh, sure. It looks cool. Um, <laughs> and he takes it. Uh, how do you it, use, like, how do you use it? Well, don't put your finger on the trigger. Obviously. You aim. Hold with both hands. Okay, pull he's trigger. Gonna, he's going to pull the trigger. Oh. <laughs> uh... So like, are... he holds it and he holds it down on his hip and he's just like and you just hear is somebody shooting something in my sub? No. No. <laughs> no. Everybody roll deception checks. <laughs> uh that's gonna go great. Ooh. Oh my god. This Gotta is love it. <laughs> Nocta just comes out and goes Could you please not Julia has the most guilty look on her face. Ever. We would never do that. Uh, we. To be fair, I wasn't the one who shot the first one. Of course <laughs> we can. Of <laughs> course we can not. <laughs> we can, we can stop. We can stop. Definitely. We Thank can you. Stop. Uh, it is very. I, I, we're we're running low on repairing. We're uh, equipped like. Okay, uh, like 14, five. 15, 16, 17, whatever the fuck it is now. Seventeen. 17. All right. I right. can fix it, well, right? I just, I'm, just, I'm just saying we're running low on supplies. Yeah, it's fair. I'm for a little bit. Um, so, all right. so I guess one. But don't worry, we're going to be at Ilix like in two days. All right. So one more kind of thing. So we have Jeremy, and then we have Heavy Neck, and then we have the yeah. other captains. They're going to see you, Jeremy, and think you're Heavy Neck. And when they see Heavy Neck, they're going to be like, who the fuck is this? So, do you want to be like his twin? And then we'll just figure out something. That's the best way to do it. And then Heavy Neck can just have drank something bad? I don't know. I mean, there is the possibility that he did drink a bad potion. And then it just turned him different colors. I've heard of that before. They're like trick potions. I would say yeah, well, we could just be like we're, we pulled a prank on him, and he uh, he drank a potion oh. that removes his tattoos. Can we say he just leveled up? Oh, <laughs> like he's he's ascended. Like he has ascended to a new form. <laughs> It's just not even my final form. Well, Whatever we, we if, pick... if that means that they, that means that they can't see me, then I think as long as you keep your tattoos covered, you should be fine. I mean, is right, that possible? Bad. Let's shave. Like, let's shave talking, your head. Like... All right, let's yeah. shave your head. Let's shave your head. Let's see if you can grow out a little bit of a beard. We'll keep. We'll give you like a cloak or something. All right, that sounds. I mean, I think I can grow facial hair. I feel scraggly. Yeah, just look as different from him as you, well. I mean, not him, different from you as you possibly can. <clears throat> yeah, don't worry about it. I figured it out. And the heavy neck, the the new the ghost, the new ghost heavy neck is sitting behind you in the like in the door frame. Mate, you just became our driver, and then <laughs> and then we don't have to worry about anybody seeing him. Jeremy, you get what you want, and you get to stay out of the fight, no matter how good you may be. But I want that body to be preserved, so he's gonna be our drive. Okay, he, he should learn how like, to drive. And he just looks there with like his like big smug face, just being like, "Yeah, good okay, idea, right?" So, what's the plan about you know your new look? <clears throat> I think I like. I heard somebody talk that I like drank something. That's possible. All right. Ascended might be a little bit different. I don't think I look better than that guy, unfortunately. Wait, hold on. Heavy neck. Yeah. Can you still fight? 
Yeah. What do you mean? Did you lose oh, yeah. the physical and kept the mental? Oh, oh maybe you that's what fight? happened. Oh, please. Hey, Sheila, you want to you want to go on about? And he like ru- like he runs <laughs> over to like like the side where the where you have like these like uh, actually no he runs to the fucking like weapons locker and just pulls out <clears throat> like this rusted ass rapier and it's like come on Sheila let's go you, you want to I'll prove it. Sheila, I isn't that fuck? Yeah, do it, please. This I that's how you want to do it. This will be fun. All right, he Sheila looks as will. confident as the other one and sure-footed as the as Jeremy. So, Sheila, <clears throat> get into position. Uh, he's like, "All right." Sheila's gonna take the blunt greatsword out of the closet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Blice him uh, in two. Yeah, this is a big old it, it, dude. If if I said the rapier was rusted, this thing is made of rust. <laughs> yeah, you guys do not keep keep your weapons well oiled or anything. Well, the weapons we uh, want, we keep on us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so as you like step forward and like pulled out your broadsword, he is just gonna lunge straight at you and go to make an attack. Um. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, he's gonna make a disarming attack. So first things first. Thirty. It definitely works. Cool. Roll a. Down, down, down. Ooh, oh, you're gonna fucking. At least you're not raging. Uh, strength saving throw. DC nineteen. Oh, I can't get lower than a twenty. Oh, you can't? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. That's That's what do you have? He goes, <laughs> he goes and, he, and he just like, and he like smacks your wrist right in the spot where a normal fucking person's wrist would like let go of a fucking thing. And he like, he, he recoils from it. He's like, oh, you know, I sure I should have known that was going to work. And then he's going to action surge and then he's going to make, um, well, actually, yeah, he's going to make uh, another attack. Hits. Nice. Um, he's going to do precision. Well, no, no, he doesn't need to do it anyway. <clears throat> if he hits with a D8, 12 piercing damage. As he, like, after he hits your uh, your wrist, he, like, he bounces off of the ground and then, like, rolls, like, right up to your chest and then just, like, stabs you, like, right in the sternum. Oh, what the hell? Right. Plants his feet and goes, I know you can take it, love. And then, like, jumps back off. Well, is gonna, is also still heavy. What? I'm is so gonna do a Is going to do a backflip and then land on his feet. Well. And then look with his hands out. He goes, See, Jeremy. Any more questions? Stuff, that's the stuff you can do. Jeremy's just looking like, no fucking way. <laughs> I don't care if I can do it. I'm not do that. Yeah, all right. I'm fine with it. Thank so, you. And he just takes a bow. So we got <laughs> two of them now. Um, yeah, I'm going to still be the captain, though, unless we want to vote on it. Um, You know what? I think I think uh, I'm okay with it. All right. The less you get seen, probably the better. Just Yeah. Yeah. We just go in with the plan and you can just be the mouth. Um and we can just say that, you know. Jeremy. Um yeah. we don't want anyone to see you yet because I feel like there might be a situation where we could use your appearance to throw somebody off. Okay. I'm fine with that. When you said just not be around any of the action anyway, I was okay. If you, if yeah, at any point, pussy. if at any point you need to be off the ship, you want to go do something else, like let me know. I can bring you somewhere without being seen by anyone. Um, okay, that sounds okay. But for the time being, just stay on the fucking ship. Um. Yeah. Absolutely. Good. Thank you, Finn. Uh, you just need to go see Toland. He's uh somewhere over there. He's the one who's gonna just kind of remind you how to how to drive. Don't worry. It's you know. If you got that body, you should be able to just muscle memory it. He's, he's just like, all right then. Um, 
right, well, I'm going to go get high and uh, go hang out above deck. Anybody want to join me? Yes. Yes. Let's go shoot those. My head <laughs> still hurts. Yeah, you're going to need it. Uh, so they're going to go and uh, head upstairs and go to do fuck all. Uh, Phantasma just watches him leave. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Me either, but two of them is honestly not a bad thing if they can both fight, because... They're... Yeah, they both seem they... capable. Yeah, as long as they both stay on our side. I Listen, we don't... We well, still why would both... they not? They seem like... The... She Sheila's gone at this point, right? Yeah, they, they both have already left All their right. shop. Uh, Finn is just gonna kind of say under his breath, but like within earshot of Magmar and Julia, and or or in Phantasma, or whoever's around, just be like, "Well, if they cease to be on my side, then we'll fucking take care of it." That's not the point. <laughs> Julia rubs your shoulders and just like, "Yeah, easier said than done." <laughs> <clears throat> You're not wrong there. But we'll just have to keep I still a watch. I think we could just like squish him back together. There's got to be a way. Finn, did you do that thing with your eyes? To look at them? If Finn's not paying attention. He's shocking, grasping the air. <laughs> another animal handling check. <laughs> this will be the last one until for for like a little bit. Hey! Hey! Now that Sheila and Heavy Neck uh, have left the room, uh, just as you're like kind of like just like putting your hands into the air, you can see little wisps of him appear first and all of a sudden he starts coiling around your wrists and up your arms and then up your neck and up, like there right he is. your head and he just kind of nuzzles you gives you a bunch of like frizzy hair from static electricity and then like kind of just like coos right into like the pocket of your like shoulder um, all right buddy there you go visible oh. to everybody else as well uh, i was gonna and, say do we just see his hair get more and more oh that would be hysterical hey, um, buddy. Yeah, no you can you can see this little dragon just kind of like appear from out of the ether and, uh fantastic just so cute um, hey, buddy you remember me all right sorry you were saying something no i think it's good um and we have a solid plan so i don't think we should probably th we we should not think too hard about this um, yeah yeah i'm uh, honestly like we did the truth thing we did the detect evil thing and we should definitely keep a watch on them i wasn't lying about that yeah, we, no, we tested both of their skills and merits and that uh, is so like I'm, I'm done i'm done thinking about this until we have to think about it again Okay, that's no, I'm in. Um, but if we're done uh, for with Heavy Neck and Jeremy for now, I do have news. Um, oh, yeah, you were saying, yes. Yes. Um, so I've already spoken with um, Adrian and um, Lawrence. And um, before, like the day before we hit Elix, we're going to have another meeting. So prepare for that. But I did hear back from two places from Port Royal. And from Via Makanya. So, All right. Jet has responded and Xander has responded. Jet says, looks like, and she pulls out a paper because she wrote it down. <laughs> <laughs> looks like you're not the only ones making moves. The Undercity is spilling out, spilling over, and it's hard to keep the peace. Get here safe. So, that sounds like he still believes it. And then Xander's is, <clears throat> Thaddeus' ships are all gone. The city docks are bare. There are There's a new gang in town. Wonder who caused that. I won't make port, and they just stop. I think it's Royal. Because he's really far away. Uh, and that's pretty much it. What do you think? Wait, you think he's what? I think that he Xander's not going to be able to make it to Port Royal, is what he was saying. Oh, yeah. No, that's fine. A new gang in town. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know how we freed Heavy Neck? And everyone do? else. Wait, what did you guys do? What did, he, what did Heavy Neck... Wow, this is really a reoccurring theme, huh? Okay. Right. Yeah, so Heavy Neck was taken into prison, into a maximum security prison, and we busted him out along with 
uh, probably Countless a couple other hundred other terrible, terrible people. You guys got a pretty good track record. I'm impressed. Yeah, I mean, that's... maximum. I don't know what maximum security appears like, but that's. But they drove Thaddeus out of via Macanya. Yeah. So that's did one... they drive him out, or did he leave because he thinks we're going somewhere else? That's a good probably question. Probably that. No. Either way, I guess. Well, you know, maybe, maybe they, maybe it is. Maybe they ran away because of Balsa Cult. Because remember, that's remember that's chaos. What if they just kind of got or getting like kind of like scared and are running away? Hmm. That'd be good for us. Yeah, and if they're if they're fleeing from Via Macania, then they might run into that one ship that we left. <clears throat> Maybe I don't know. Um, because that ship's not going to come to come our way, so it, it can only go south. So it might run into them and tell them. Who knows? But. Those are my two mes messages to bring to the table. I'm sure that the other huh. uh, captains have others. Interesting. All right. All right. So um, that's pretty much all I have. Um, we have um, two more days of travel. So you guys have a day of well, two days worth. But uh, after one day, we're going to have our captain's meeting. Uh, right as we get to the uh, outskirts of Illich's waters. Is there anything you guys wanted to do in that day? Downtime-wise, because remember, uh, at the end, uh, when you guys arrive at Illix, you will be receiving a point towards your downtime. So keep in mind that like while you're traveling, you're still doing your like downtime activities. I'm still working on uh, <clears throat> a disadvantage in my armor. Mm. Stealth. Stealth. There we go. All right. Pumping that button fight stat up. Good job. Uh, Julia's going to look at Finn and be like, so how how easy is that whole disappearing, reappearing, trans moving thing for you? The teleportation. Sorry. Oh. I, that um... was Joe being an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> She'd obviously know what teleportation is. Uh, how easy is teleportation for you? Is it something you could just do? Uh, I mean... I just kind of did it one day, and then I've just been able to do it kind of more and more as I as I practice it. Sorry, let me be more clear. Like today, could you do oh. it if I wanted to? And then follow up question: Do you know any good libraries up here? I mean, Loratus's library is like uh, really? the real deal. Do you think he'd let me peruse it? Yeah, I don't see why not. We should probably. Uh, if you uh, don't think it's I mean, a good idea, I think, that's fine. I, I think we're past the point of asking at this point, but... <laughs> yeah. Hey, I mean, we're I... just here. Yeah. <laughs> you got good books. <laughs> I mean, we, uh, we can't be gone for long, but we can, uh, we can go take a trip real quick. That would be great. I miss reading. What are you All looking right, for? You want to spend a day at Loratus's, hanging out in the library? Yes, I want to be specifically looking for something, but in general, I'm working on my investigation. Well, that's definitely going to come in handy when you're trying to look for a specific book. So what are you looking for? <laughs> uh, so I am trying to look for any books that have anything to do with magical cards, magical card effects, magical decks, okay. and, um, so... and or people splitting in two. <laughs> Okay. Basically so, anything um, I happen to have in there. <laughs> if you're going to spend the, the, a good day at Loratus's, um, I'm going to say you're probably going to be bringing like the rest of the cast. So it's going to be like a, oh, play day at Loratus's. So uh, <coughs> a, big, a big group of you guys will just go over, like, because Heavy Neck will want to go over and, and want he'll want Loratus to take a look at him and he wants to like investigate this as much as him because. Um, I will. Finn was actually going to ask Heavy Neck to stay on the ship because oh, if come on. well, look, if I'm not here, somebody needs to be in charge of the ship. That's fair. All right, can you bring me back like a big fucking plate of her food? Yeah, yeah, we can, we can just give you. Come food. on, you <laughs> wanted to use you wanted to use a fucking interdimensional magic, like teleportation magic, to get food. It's so good, and we're in the middle of the ocean. The answer is yes. <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll bring you back food. Thank you, please. Ugh, all right, yeah, fine. You can just whatever. But yeah, please, if you could do, definitely look into that because that would be important. Um, but yeah. 
As you guys arrive, though, Loratus and Maruta are very happy to see you. The kids are, like, getting and growing like weeds, and they're growing in numbers and colors every day. Um, but it is a lovely day of going in the morning. Uh, there's a lovely brunch sort of, like, um, like, like hand food spread, <clears throat> like meats, cheeses, a, char a charcuterie, um, along with some other, like, breads. Um Loratus will guide you will, will laugh at when you're like hey do you have any things about like cards he's like you mean a deck of many things um because those sure. are very rare um especially i mean in my experience i have only seen one and i have heard yeah, of that two. there might be three <clears throat> so like i have heard of two others like total like and i'm trust me and as he leans in, it feels like his head almost starts to grow and change as like more teeth appear. He goes, I'm very old. And then it like recedes back into like the normal, like happy Lorada's face. So yes, three is like I would assume because they're that rare. I mean, because you do know that when you draw a card, they disappear and then there's this whole thing. Right? She's just yeah. writing all of this down as he's talking. Uh, but if you if you would if you really must have a book, he's like fine. He made his hand down like what it's like one of the like the lesser um like red ones because it's like common knowledge for him. Um, but it's just like a little like DM's guide of like a little bit of magic items that kind of like could exist in this world. Um, <laughs> you said that they disappear. What happens if it doesn't? What do you mean? Like, let's say, hypothetically... Mara Uta is, like, fully engaged on your other side, like, in someone, your let's, Someone touches the card, and then what the card... What did you guys do now? Still remains. Like, her hand, but like, creeps then, around your other shoulder. But then, what if someone else touches the card, and something completely different happens? They both shoot each other a look. That sounds like a trick card. It's, Can you explain that? A little um, they, I don't, I don't even have to roll. They have never heard of this card. That's how <laughs> absolutely rare. And like she's like, I have never heard of anything like that. And great. I am neither. That's great. <sighs> what did you find, and what did you do with it? Well, we're winging it. <laughs> <laughs> he, we're not really sure what happened. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> so you guys can go through the process of telling him the whole story uh, front to back of heavy neck splitting and uh, him and Maru to both like look on in absolute astonishment at this entire like, you know, tale. And right when you're finally like, yeah, now we have two of them and they're kind of like the same person and another like, you know, and they're not fiends or not like we cast all these spells. We did this zone of truth like and, like and they're just looking at it, like. Could you bring them here? Not today. I would like to study both of them. You could come oh. to our ship if you'd like. Yeah, you want my come? studying would take days. All right, so not yet. We have to fight the bad guy first. You mean Thaddeus? Yeah. You can't spare him for three days. Not this three days. Honestly, this is this is the worst three days you could have asked for. Well, I would be very cautious around both of them. Um, uh, any sort of unstable magical items or artifacts or magic that may happen might cause some sort of chain reaction um best play it by ear oh we're um, good at that but <laughs> uh, obviously using the most caution you have um i am going to look and he, um he's going to roll with advantage because it's his fucking library yeah he uh he pulls down the books that he actually um it's funny because this um his heavy necks prior what, what he was looking for with Loratus was the way to like take a soul and put it into something so he was looking oh, up sure. already like all of this like body switching rituals all of the magic that would cause it and he like pulls down like a like 
kind of already like sectioned off like sec like a pile of books off of a shelf piles them like throws them on the, in front of the coffee table um starts to pull through them and there are powerful magics that have been able to like split souls before because wizards have been able to l learn the clone spell um so this may have been some sort of weird sort of like embedded sort spell that caused the the body to split into two um you tell them that they don't have any memory and that kind of shocks them because that that then that means maybe maybe it was somebody messing with the clone spell um there's also <clears throat> like eldritch rituals that um allow someone to create a whole like perfect replica of themselves but they need like tons of sacrifices to be able to do it um so and uh when you're going over that description it doesn't really ring any bells um there is also celestial and divine magics that have been known to like create doubles or like split people um from like if they are like purged of their evil so there are those those ways too so there's like there's a bunch of ways to like use magic but it's all like you said very high level that would require it like we're talking like deities avatars like greater demons um the works cool good glad thank you maybe if you have the wish spell <laughs> oh, well i'll get right on that kind of a touchy subject yeah uh, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll get back to you on that one you guys we need to figure out we need to figure out a way around that one too you gotta figure out a way to cast that one without dying. She was dying. What do you mean? Oh, Sheila's card. Oh when, yeah, that's what Sheila got. When Sheila touches the card, it gives her the ability to cast cast the wish spell. But if she casts it, she will die permanently. Yeah. And please, I mean, like permanently, please, permanently. I know what you're thinking. Please tell me you do not have this card with you. Still, you've destroyed it. Finn is going to slowly look over to Sheila's chained up bag of holding. And then both Mara, like, it's like Mara Uta looks first, and then, like, as her snout comes into view, Loratus follows her and just. <laughs> Why is that bag wrapped in chains? You know the answer to and that. And is that what I think it is? Probably. Anyway, Could I possibly nope. Keep it for nope. protection. Mm -hmm. uh, I ask why. why. Sheila will not allow that. Sheila. Do you see why yeah. she, she Sheila? Do you see how she looks a little itchy? I did a lot of work on afraid. this. If you could not undo it for us, we'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, playing with high level magic. You guys should not be in possession of an artifact that allows you to that splits people and or grants them wishes that then kill them. Uh Finn's gonna subtle spell a message and be like it's not in the bag. You... Oh. Yeah, come on, Sheila. Like you could let him you could like just but if like, you want to leave the bag here, like, you could. Give her the glance, like... <laughs> um, Finn. I Actually, wait, he's going to roll a sleight of hand. Alright, uh, if anyone has a passive perception above 15... Uh, yes. Yep. Uh, they're just going to see um, Loratus's eyes kind of like flash with like a little like arcane like flame really quick and um he puts his hand on Maruta's leg and they both kind of like chime in and Maruta's like oh. this look honey if she's going to she's fine she can hold on to this look how strong she is I think she can handle it they they look like they can keep it under wraps and he just looks at her and do you, uh, Lorada, do you think maybe you can strengthen the chain for us? 
I could give you a magic. I could. I, I could absolutely give you a chain that magically never breaks. That would be great. Perfect. Perfect. That's perfect. Sheila, That's you like that, right? Sheila, could I please have this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, see, grabs the bag and he disappears off into his little like half lab that's like out of sight. Um, Finn, you hear uh, in your head, um, do you have any other bags? No. I shall find you. Uh, so he's going to disappear for like probably like a good like three to four hours. And anyone that gets close to the door gets the door immediately slammed in their face because no oh, Um So the rest of you can kind of poke through uh, the books, research anything you like, um, or just like, you know, roughhouse it with the dragon boar and eat a bunch of food because Mara Uta has brought in her third serving of brunch because it's all different and this time it's fruit. Um, something light before uh, something light before lunch. Yes, please. I don't know how you guys handle this. So um, do, you, do you have like a to go container? Because Heavy Neck yeah. was being a bitch. Yeah. Um, she just like snorts flame out of her nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I have uh, I I have a container. Just one second. Uh, and she just like. It appears in front of her. It is a little like folded paper, like hard, like almost cardboard to go box. And on it, it says "bitch heavy neck" on the front. <laughs> and it already has like, um, like the like, uh, the warmed like the all the cuts of meats and um the lunch that she was gonna provide to you like in this container that's like half lunch, half brunch, um, but full bitch heavy neck. Okay. <laughs> and she was still sure I, I can get him. Um and what was the other one's name? Jeremy. Jeremy Neck. Isn't okay. that weird? Jeremy Neck. Okay, I can get him <laughs> one too. So uh she will make that appear as well. Um but you guys can enjoy a lovely day. Um Phantasma, unfortunately, um will have to be called back. Um, because towards the end of like your day, uh it's she puts a sunning stone, like, you know looks at it as the glyph starts to glow and her hands goes Finn, I hate to cut this short. As like you guys are just like wolfing down the like the remainder of lunch. We need to go. We're not going to make dinner. I'm sorry, Mara Uta. I'm sorry, uh, Maratis. Um bag. Uh yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna it's upstairs. I'm gonna give it on your way out. Okay, perfect. Julia's gonna but, hold the like uh the first book she gave him with all the like DM's guide to magical items. She'd yeah. be like, Can I borrow this? You can keep it. Oh thank god. She just like puts it in her bag. She's like, I have been dying. And he and he holds out his hand, like his arm out to you and you see like all these like ornate rings. He's like, You can have any book in my library. You <laughs> just know you have to ask. Could I ask them about my god stuff? See if they know anything about it. Uh, Mara Uta's been looking into it, but she, but unfortunately, Sheila's been taking up most of her time. She ended with the fact that Kalsuf, his story kind of ends after, like you know, way before the Great Dragon War, where the primordial deities were kind of at odds with the celestial deities, um, and. There was the, you know, the fall of like what became, you know, like the betrayer gods that tried to um, help what, because Kosuf is one of, is the primordial deity of fire. He mm -hmm. is fire incarnate. Um, he is like, he is the reason the fire plane exists um, because when he was like brought down, um, they sealed him away into a plane that slowly then just became flame. And okay they all the stories kind of end there um there's no sort of sign of like active worship in this like you know the in the surrounding area like it seems like all of the practitioners are like gone okay. and he's maybe just fallen into obscurity okay um but yeah he the legend has it is that he was like entrapped and imprisoned into the a plane that became the plane of fire. Okay. 
And that's all I got for you. I'm sorry. Stordak's been a huge problem, but he hasn't been going anywhere lately. He seems to um, be trying to uh, put together what little he can um, after he very easily conquered that city. Um, I can imagine. Yeah. Uh, but at least he's not moving. But you guys have to run, unfortunately. So um, let me walk you guys up. And you guys <laughs> do, um, like ascend the stairs in this mob of dragonborn children that are just tugging at your shirts, saying goodbyes, kind of Excuse whining, me. just like, oh, you have to go. Like one of them tries to trip Magmore, so roll a DC. Uh, 16 deck save. <laughs> Great. Where's my decks? You had to say something. Oh, why can't I roll it? Why isn't it working? Hold on. That's weird. Well, if you no, well, yes, it's on my face. Blam! But you're quickly picked up by the dragonborns that actually are nice, and they like <laughs> get away from Zax. It's just <sighs> he's such an Thanks. asshole, and they like Thanks. like like snarl at him. Um, but they carry you back up. Maruta just just dying, laughing like two feet behind you. Um, but you guys <laughs> can make your way into the study where the kids are firmly cut off at the threshold. Um, all just like heads stacked almost to the fucking top of it. Um, you guys are piled into the teleportation room as um, Loratus pulls out, um, you know, the bag of holding and gives it to Sheila. And um, as Sheila is shunted into the room, he turns to Finn with a bag behind his back that looks fairly identical. Well, I mean, it's fairly close to what Sheila had, and he hears in his head, I was able to get all your things out. So, you now have a second bag of holding that's like almost like a mini bag of holding like Sheila's, but it has all the stuff that she was in there. Because the second you said the card wasn't in there, he was like, oh, okay, cool. And then just, you know, dumped it out and put it in another bag. But So, you guys have a, like, a, a half bag of holding, but okay. it's full of Sheila's shit. <laughs> and Perfect. Sheila's and Sheila's chain it looks like it has been like has runes carved on every link um, and it is fused together you don't know where it begins it, or ends you try to pull at it it doesn't budge this thing's fucking solid as a rock like it would let's just say a ninth level dispel magic would have to break it nice Oof. you could also use a weapon fun fact um, but <laughs> You guys are like pushed into the teleportation circle, quickly uh, sent away, and then you guys appear right back onto the Terra of the Deep. We good? All right. So, um, come on, Finn. Um, you can you see the the um, glyph of sending that has been carved into your um, your mast is glowing white, just kind of pulsing. Just that's us. All right. Um, she puts her hand on and goes, "Yeah, we're coming. Don't worry. Uh, we're just a little bit late. We had to do some light traveling." Uh, and you guys can ascend and quickly get over to uh, a very dimly lit um, captain's meeting around the large wooden um, <coughs> world like uh, table. Well, uh, on the way, Phantasma. Um, Talks to you and goes, should we bring up the, the bait and switch? Because this is about to mix. Um, well, we wanted to keep it between the two specific captains, yeah? All right, well, but we're about to be there. Well, then they will bring it up if they feel it's necessary. Okay. All right. That's fine. That, that's fair. Um, And we don't bring up Heavy Neck. <coughs> we yeah. absolutely do not bring up Heavy Neck. He's... he's let let's just say uh for the better part is um the reason we were traveling is we had to drop him off and like he had to go do things because he's not well. Um, yep. So that's the story. Um, let's go. Welcome. <laughs> you guys look good. Our two sea elf captains. I you know I like. I like you better than the short one. Lawrence is just like, it looks like he's already like maybe two ales deep into this. Yeah, I generally like us better as well. <laughs> yeah. Much 
much better to look at. <laughs> um, and Fantastic is like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, where this is where uh, Cap- Captain Brian just snorts through his mustache. <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right guys, uh, Captain Adrian, here, come on. This is the only meeting we're going to have. Come on, because we know Ilex is a day out. Um, so I wanted to call this meeting to make sure that we were prepared. Let's go over some facts. Um, we have all received messages, I believe, from the surrounding ports. And uh, I'd like us all to read them out to make sure that we've all heard them because only a few of us were allowed to, we were able to reach the, some things. Um, so I'll say Fantasia goes first. She tells, has her two tales. Um, so uh, it seems that they are, they believe that we are coming to Fort Royal. So that is strongly still the word. Um, Lawrence pipes up. Well, I think I should go first because it seems that our lovely uh, Loxodon, Pam, and Ilix is in a bit of trouble. He pulls out a piece of paper. We could use your help. The fog is in a standoff with the gold sails, and it's not looking good for us. Most have, and that's when it trails off. So that's Alex. He sits down. Adrian stands up. For my wife, Yolanda, she's still alive, thank God. She writes, it's beginning to heat up. The fog creeps around at night, and there are groups knocking down taverns and burning down blocks. She says, please be safe. And you can see it's he's he can't hide it there's a little bit of like watery uh like sort of like moist like he's about to <clears throat> it looks like he's starting to tear up a little bit if you don't um, mind my asking where is this coming from new hope tough break sorry bud we'll talk about that um brian stands up our friend out in Clif- our friends out in Clifton and Eden have gotten back. Heresy, gotta love her. The fog is creeping in, but luckily we have a cur- we have the curtain. We are waiting for gold sales for help, but no sign yet. And you just hear like a big sigh out of Fantasma. These fucking gold sales, they're not going to do these. Bride just shoots her luck. She shuts up. Um, Francis in uh, Eden says the city is overrun with gold sails protecting the harbor and he like is looking right at Fantasma Thaddeus's men have cut off uh, Eden from Visundu um, and they're asking us to if they could send help if possible he sits down Adrian stands back up well that's it Did I read where he's at? Yep. All right. So it looks like Elix, Eden, and Clifton are all. Well, no, Clifton's not run up with. Uh, well, no, they are, but they're out the outside. Uh, remember, Clifton has a giant, massive stone curtain that protects their harbor. Um. So. We're going to have to go to Ilix, and we're going to have to be ready for a fight, I think. And we might have to fight two different pirate factions. Uh, Fantasma, do you want to explain the gold cloaks or gold sails, whatever they're fucking called? Yeah, that's fine. Um, the gold sails. Um, the pet nickname that is given to the pirate army of the fleet for a pirate captain named Gildas Hagan. They are absolutely um, ruthless in battle, so they are for like they are for as formidable as us, I would say. Um, they are a better armed than us, but they are fewer in numbers. And if they are spread so thin at all of these places, I doubt that there's any actual 
gold sails sailing the open sea. <clears throat> but anyways, what I want to say is the man who runs them is a liar, he's a cheat, and he's a piece of shit, and he treats everyone around him like a tool, and you can bet your asses that the people who work for him are the same. And she sits down. Adrian just holds his hand out. Like I said, we might have to fight too if we want to get to Elix. But who knows? Um, it sounds like Pam is saying that there's a standoff, so maybe we can see how it's going on and maybe, I don't know. We don't have a lot of options here. Can we overwhelm them? We could. I do believe that we could go, we could surround them, and we could just close in. Can we surround them? Can we and the gold sails surround them, overwhelm them, sink them, and move on without having to interact with the gold sails? You, um, I don't know. The gold sails seem like the enemy of our enemy for the time being, so perhaps... I have no contact are, with them, but... Perhaps they are someone we can deal with at a later date. Well, if there's a way to get into Elix that you have, um, maybe the your little teleportation trick, um, maybe you could talk to him. I don't know. I don't. Well, maybe, can, we're going to need to scout the area first. Can you do that? Yeah. All right. I can so, definitely do that. How then, close are we? About a day? About a day. All right. So given the news, Adrian kind of like takes a, pulls his mug up and takes a long drink. He then shoots a look right at you, uh, right in your general direction. So like Finn and Phantasma. He saw like just like this like cold stare at the rest of the table. Now I'm going to speak really quietly because the next words that are going to come out of my mouth are very important for everybody to hear and I'm only going to say them once. We're not going to Port Royal. We have been lying about going to Port Royal this entire time. A clever plan thought up by our friends in the Terror of the Deep. Now, and he sh shoots a look at everybody. Um, he's going to insight check everybody in the room. I'll say, that, you know, I'll roll two and take. Oh, what did I? Eight. Yeah. Everybody kind of, you know, passes the, um, you know, the sight check. We're going to pull an audible. We're going to park, we're going to clear out Elix. And then we are going to throw our net right here. And we're going to bisect the oceans. And then we're going to catch whatever we catch. And then we're going to move wherever the most Thaddeus men are. But the first things first is we have to throw that net out. Now, I'm gonna put it, leave it up for just a vote on how we do this. Every captain gets one vote for how they want, how they think best to rearrange our fleet so that we may do this effectively. I will go first. Now, I think with the recent news in New Hope Landing and the surge that is happening in a city that has been our dire friend for decades, I would like to remind you people, I think we owe it. I know what you're going to say, I'm going after my wife. I don't fucking care. It, that's, that's part of it. But there are other people in that city that have taken us in 
when we most needed it. Here's my vote. And he takes like the little wooden blocks that have represented your fleet and he puts, uh, I'll draw a line. Um, we're gonna do, for Adrian, we're gonna do orange. I say we start here in Ilex and then we draw a line all the way to Vio Makanya because we know that Vio Makanya is currently empty of all Thaddeus. But now we could take that line and then we can move towards New Hope, probably via the coastline to Eden. And then we could clear out Thaddeus all along the way and then what we could do is free Visundu, and that is, and I know everybody in this room knows how important that port is. I think that's the best course of action. And then once we get up there, who fucking knows? Like, if we make enough racket, we got to, the mad dog will come out. There's no way. That's my vote. Ben's going to look at Fantasma real quick and then look back at, you know, the table. Fantasma stands up. I'm sorry, but I cannot agree with you, old friend. I think you are thinking too defensively. I say we move on Elix and since we know that they're biting on Port Royal, I think we go and cast our net this way. That's way we are closest to Port Royal where we know that they're probably are going to be following our word. We know we have confirmation and we also fr could fr free up uh, Maybe the port of, uh, probably the port, not but the port of Seesaw, but Old Clifton could also be freed up. And they are also a very strong port that has also sheltered us many times and is arguably a stronger point than Visundu is. And you know that. That stone curtain, there's no, nobody gets past it unless they want to go and land. And if they do that, they're pirates. They're going to get fucking mowed over. I say that's my vote. Lawrence. I'm in with Phantasma. We make the power move to go sideways towards where we're going to go. Power move. And then we throw a net out. See what we catch. We're bound to kill enough Thaddeus until we can run into something. And like she said, we basically close off Old Clifton as a port, and then we can move on Old Royal, Port Royal, if we hear something. He just leans back and like doesn't even touch the line that Phantasma like has when she's moved her thing. Lawrence. Oh, no, he just went. Bryden kind of leans back and goes, well, this is all well and good, and I support the power move, um, but it seems like you guys don't have forgotten how to fish. Uh, and he's like, just like very calmly starts moving and shuffling the, uh, the, the little pieces around. And he basically draws this. We know where the fish are. We know they're here. We know they're here. And we know they're here. So why not make our line around, just swarm around exactly where we know they are? And it just like calmly sits right back down with a little smirk on his face. And Rain kind of looks there and chuckles and goes, well, Adrian, um, I was going to, I was going to go with your decision because I think my sister might be in via, via Macania because we haven't been there yet. Um, but that was after you showed me all of this uh, gorgeous little shit. Uh, Brian, this is good. I mean, this is better than your card game. Like, this is good. Um, I think it's smart because we get the best, the best of both worlds. 
we free up Ilex, and then we can go to either Old Clifton or Old Eden, probably both, depending on how you know what the what the word is, and we free up both ports. And Adrian, you if we want if we go and we split, you could go to Eden, and then you, you could take Eden and go to New Hope Landon. And Lawrence chimes in and goes, and maybe find some friends with cannons and ships along the way, eh? We never was it. We were never able to try New Eden, or we, we were never able to try Eden before. This might be our only shot. Adrian kind of like just like rocks back and forth and goes, "Okay, I'll bite." The same half bad. And then like, Fantasma nudges you, Finn. Goes, "Speak up." As far as the curtain that you were speaking of that we spoke of going from Ilix to Via Macania. I don't know that it's uh, necessary any longer. Uh, he's been chased out of Via Macania by gangs. So that plans out the window. Oh. Shit. All right. Hmm. Adrian just like bites his lip and goes, Via Macania needs to be saved another day. Fuck. Okay, so Via Macania's out. Fully. I like the idea of picking a continent and fucking him up. Be it Irium or Vasundu. If everyone's on board for Irium, then I'm down as well. It seems like that's where most of the the news bad news is coming from. So <clears throat> my votes Muggles, the curtain around Irium. Like, uh, Rain just holds her, uh, like, feathered hand up. Brian, obviously. Well, we make a clean sweep. We start Ilix, go to Old Clifton, then swing around to Eden. Fantasma raises her hand. I third. Adrian, and taps. Come in. And if we make it that far, then we go to New Hope, Adrian. But could I please at least hear me out? If New Hope Landing gets worse, we reconsider at least trying to see if we can send part of us there. I'm not in charge of this armada. This is a I... decision. There's, right. I, I need clearance from everybody. But I would say that we can certainly have the discussion with, if and when the time comes. Yeah, Adrian, that you're you're worrying too much, dude. No hope has defenses. Look, you're gonna we're we're gonna hear a bird the next day. <clears throat> Yolanda is going to be fine. She's uh, she can handle herself. Um, and he begrudgingly just is like raises his hand and goes, "We do hear him. We we do hear him." Um, is there a way, Adrian, that you can get Yolanda out of New Hope for the time being? I don't have tricks like you. Side note, Barnaby does. Oh, he does? Okay. He has, he has a tra uh, transport via plants. Oh, all right. Um, He's like, he sits there and molds it over and like, he's. I'll say he has this like toothpick that he just chews all the time and he like moves it to the other side of his mouth and goes, Oh, you know, Barnaby does. He can't. Um, that little scamp can teleport. He never told me. Yeah, he does it through plants. It's really interesting. Oh, like, like you, you do that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. All it's, right. It's, it's much more like flary. He does earth, it. Earthy, crunchy. Yeah. Um, yeah, he should be able to... Um, well, what if we could, what if we could move not just her, but more people? If you can get them out of New Hope Landing, you know, I'm gonna, you know, and we can wait a little longer to get there. Okay, um, I'm gonna put Barnaby on a mission to be able to start evacuating New Hope. 
He won't be around, but I think that's more my problem here than yours. And trust me when I say I understand how you're feeling because we are effectively abandoning Port Royal, and that does hurt me to an extent. And we are but, not, we are absolutely not going to Port Royal. Everyone just kind of nods in agreement after, like, Adrian bought, like, begins the first one. He goes, no, we're not. But we make a strong approach to Ilex. We move to Old Cuffin, and then we move to Eden. May and all the luck we, in the world be with them. And I and I and I think that we might get lucky, and we could, you know, we could make some at least an alliance with the Gold Sales to help us out, because I know that at the very least, Irium's their home. So they're not they're they wouldn't want to lose their home. At the very least, a truce for the time being. I think we can manage that. So, um, yeah, we'll have to. We're, we're so I believe that pretty much sums up. I think everything we needed to talk about. Um, any last closing words <clears throat> for everybody? Uh, he just kind of looks around. Yeah, let's fuck him up. <laughs> Lawrence just says as he's like finally finishing up his cup, slams it down. Let's not forget what we're fucking doing. We have ridden the world of the fucking worst scum. And I think we should be fucking excited about it. Come on, guys. She's like slams his hand and Fantasma's like, you're right. You're right, brother. But I think control that. And we will definitely win this. Um, and everyone kind of nods and agree uh, once more. And Adrian says, well, I think it's time to uh, turn in. Good talking to you guys. Um, I think it goes without saying everything that is is said and was said in this room is sealed. Got it? Scout's on her. All right. Uh, and he actually pulls off the only little incantation thing he has, and he snaps his fingers, and a little bell chimes, and all of the like candles that were unlit in this room light back up to like full light. Um, it's like, all right, it's too serious. I need to have a drink or two. And he just kind of like shakes his his like legs out as he starts to walk to the door, and Bryden walks over and starts to squeeze on his shoulder. Yeah, and I think I'll join you, brother. That was much too serious of a conversation for me. Uh, and they kind of like, they pick up Rain on the way out as well um, as she kind of like tag, tags along. Um, Lawrence comes up and uh, like has this long look at Phantasma. He's like, I'm excited to see the storm again. And like, they they have almost this weird sort of brotherly moment where like they both put their hands on each other's head and like almost headbutt each other. She goes, "You'll see it, my friend. Don't worry." Uh, and then he puts it. He like turns her around, puts his hand on her shoulders. Like, now come on, let's get at least one drink with the captains. Uh, and they walk out. There's obviously like on the deck of um. Uh, the oh, sorry, it is called it has now been renamed, um, the Rebel Vanguard, it, which is uh, Adrian's ship. Um, but you can walk out to a slight little like you know, celebration as people, well, not a little like celebration, people are just being like you know, joyful, um, like playing some music, playing some cards at by the full moonlight, um. And we will pick back up because now that we are getting to be nine o'clock, I think we'll end it and we will um, wake back up with you guys <clears throat> getting to Ilex and assessing the situation and figuring out what to do. Um, can I have a moment with Rain? You can. Before um, she gets like trashed. Yeah, she, she's already like one beer in, but like she like goes over. Yeah, what is it, honey? <clears throat> yeah, can I talk, can I talk to you privately? Yeah, why are you so it, scared? Yeah, okay. So you pull I, her completely like that, like that, like you pull her down deck, below deck, like there's nothing there. Yeah. Um. 
so I apologize. Uh, I kind of just put some things together and I, I need to tell you, I need to be forthcoming with you. Your Why? sister, your sister is lanked. Her tears, like, dude, immediate tears on her face. Yeah, how do you know that? I never told you. Yeah, your sister was involved with the Black Fog, and she is... Oh, no, she wasn't. She, like, takes a few steps back, like, almost is, like, pouting, and she turns around and goes, go on. And I need to tell you that she has passed. She is no longer alive. And I am sorry, but I could not, in good faith, go on without... Like, holding, withholding that from tears, you. She runs at you, like throws a fist on your chest. Goes, how does she pass? It was our crew against the black fog, and she was on the side of the black fog. And I'm what so was, sorry. What was she like? Well, she had a. Uh, she sang. She uh she had songs, she had yeah, spoons. She had these spoons. I meant like, like, was she like happy? Was she like angry? I mean, she seemed perfectly content with the black fog, and I I don't really know how else to describe it. Actually, hold on. And Finn's Here's gonna reach Finn's gonna reach into his pack. And grab uh, the songbook that he picked up of hers, and he's gonna be like, okay. Ooh. "This is hers." She snatches it immediately out of your hands because she recognizes it from her fucking childhood, and she is going to like completely lose it, become like on you. There's no way you can understand what she's saying. Um. She's saying she thanks you. Um, she can't believe it. Um, do you have anything else? Finn's just gonna be like really, you know, he's gonna be did like very as comforting as possible. Where, like, where did she die? Where is she? Like, can I find her body? I, I'll be honest with you. She died at sea. It, her body is with the ocean now. Uh. I see what else to uh I have this microphone, I believe was hers. Snatches that right back up. <sighs> yeah. And he's he's gonna like fish through his stuff. He's like, as far as I know, that's everything I have that was hers. Uh all right. Yeah, you're gonna lose her <laughs> for probably a couple good minutes, but she'll come to um like basically croaking. Um Thank you for telling me. I'm so sorry if this damages any anything between us, but I did not want there to be any It's going to take some time. Will you tell me who killed them? Who killed her? And at this point, I th I think it was Finn, but I don't remember exactly who. It was Heavy who. Neck. Heavy was Neck Heavy Neck? right up to her and fucking put a bullet into her brain and told her to go fuck herself. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. <laughs> was that when I did it? You guys were gonna question her, and you guys basically were like, "We don't know. Like, we we have no use for her." And then, like, it was like, "Yeah, kill her." And Heavy Neck just walked right up and just fucking blasted her. Oh. Okay. That's so much worse. Her last words were, "Y'all are gonna fucking die." All right. Finn's just gonna be like. It in the heat of battle, I honestly don't know who delivered the deception the... check. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll 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 be fair. Roll a history check first. <laughs> Did you even remember? Oh. Okay, since you rolled well on the history <laughs> check, we're gonna give you advantage. So it's a twenty-five. Yep. So roll an insight. Yeah. <sighs> it's like she's like she like like starts like. Like, like, uh, I want to say qual, but that's not a fucking word. Like, uh, like whale. whale out. Um, cough, maybe. I don't know. I was like just combining birds into soup at this point. <laughs> um, but she is like, she's devastated. Um, and she, it looks like she's going to like, um, 
ask you politely um, if you could give her some time. But yeah, of of course. Please take all the she, space and time you need. I I think she, I th she thinks that she can get past this, but she has to absorb everything. But she's super happy that you brought her back the gifts. Like she brought her back like her songbook and her thing. Mm -hmm. But she needs to go to bed now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so she's gonna immediately like give you a big sobbing hug and then like just vanish not gonna give you any time to like make some sort of long-winded apology anymore just like she's yep. like i've gotta go and then leaves and i think that's the good enough time to end it with that as everyone else goes yep. right to bed and gets a full night's rest um Phantasma checks in on Heavy Neck and Jeremy, and they both seem like they're doing fine. Um, Heavy Neck is over the moon about his leftovers, and he like. Won't. <laughs> but uh, that'll be it for us. Uh, we'll wake up back on the high seas, headed towards Ilex next week, same time, same place. Um, thank you for staying with us, and uh, we'll see you next week.